29 pound redshirt freshman out of Findlay Ohio. He is rated as the top freshman quarterback in the nation this week. 2400 15 yards 62 percent completion average 21 touchdowns 11 interceptions and he passes for 241 yards per game first down at the 31 yard line the spread formation triple wide receiver quick pass to Tillets Tillets at the 35 and he wiggles forward to about the 38 yard line let's take a look at the offensive line for Miami you have Joe Costello. Costello is starting in his 36th consecutive game. Frank Smith, Paul Thaler, Justin Smith. There are six Smiths on this team, all not related. And Ben Harrell. We'll get to the skilled positions in a moment. Second nope. down and three. No huddle offense, Jim. Spread formation. Roethlisberger throws. That's again complete to Tillis for the first down. And Alapa able to wrestle him out of bounds. Gianni Alapa. Here are the receivers. Robert Fraser and Jason Branch are the tight ends. Eddie Tillits, he's already had two reception in, in this game. Julian Goodman and Steve Little are the fullback and tailback in that offense. Jim, this is the northwestern approach that we saw from Rice. No huddle. Signal from the sideline. Uh, signal in each play. Triple wide receiver now to the left. This is little, little shredding tacklers as he gets over midfield all the way down to the 46 yard line. Good gain on first down, gain of seven, second and three. The defensive front for the Warriors, Louis Correa, Mike Iosua, Lance Samuseba, and Joe Correa across that defensive line. And the linebackers, Matt Wright, Chris Brown. Brown is now the leading tackler on the team, and Keani Alapa. Peters, SPL, Jackson, and Newhouse in that uh, defensive backfield. Second down and three for Miami. Rothberger with time throws. Slant pattern complete to Little. And he is tackled by Brown at about the first down mark, the 43 yard line. That should be enough for the first down. Now, what this approach does, Jim, to your defense is it makes it very difficult to signal defenses as completely necessarily as you would like to. because the offense is huddled in on the ball. First down from just inside the 43 yard line for Miami. Rothberger is going to run. Puts his head down, gets all the way to the 35. That's a gain of eight. Good variation on the theme so far. Opening up for Miami, Ohio. And they'll show you the flat passes, the slant passes, and then the quarterback will keep it. Here comes the option play. They run an option play. They've run the, the counter play. Those are those are germane to this offense and things that all these teams do uh, throughout the ball game. 99th time that Roethlisberger has carried the ball. It came in with 211 yards in rushing. He will throw. Or will he? He's in trouble. Now he throws. That's complete to Little. Little at the 30. Little to the 25 and a first down. You talk about never giving up. Roethlisberger was bottled up and about to be devoured. And he got the ball to Little at an 11-yard gain and another first down. The, the great thing about Little on this is he's available. You'll see him right here. He is available for the ball right here. He get, Roethlisberger gives it to him, but he remained available for him as he was in trouble. First down, the ball just inside the 25 of Hawaii. In motion is Henry. Ball is given to Little, exploding into the secondary and carrying all the way to the 15-yard line, very close to the first down. Steve Little, 5'10", senior out of Louisville, Kentucky. He leads the team in scoring. Five touchdowns rushing and two touchdowns receiving. Now the other thing this type of offense does is it just doesn't give the defense much time to get a blow. It just keeps coming right at them. They inserted a tight end that time as Little ran uh, off the outside leg of the guard. Double wide receiver to the right. Tillotson and Henry. To the left is Branch, number 80. Hawaii showing blitz. Roethlisberger, long count. Gets the snap, quick, fake. Then rolls to the far side. He has some running room. Now throws. That is bubble, bubble, and complete to Henry. And he's out of bounds at the three-yard line. Finally gathered it in. 
And that pass will be a completion. They mark it at the two. This is an excellent job you see here by Roethlisberger. He, make, he makes a pump fake. We see uh, Hawaii lose contain to the outside, and he brings it outside and just throws a strike. SBI finally gathered him in at the two. First and goal to go, and Miami has made it look easy. Double tight end. High formation, Goodman and Little. Roethlisberger audibleizing at the line. It is Little. Touchdown, Miami. First time they get their hands on the ball, they go the distance. And with 9.46 left to play, it is six to nothing. Jared Parsegian, the great nephew of Era, who got his coaching start at Miami, Ohio, will be in to try the point after. Well, and what you've seen through this, you're going to see some power football here. Two tight ends, a fullback, a tailback. So the Miami offense should not be confused with the University of Hawaii's. They run the option, they run the counter, they run two tight ends, they run power football, but they do it all from no huddle. Waiting for the snap from center. Parsegian powers it through, and it is good. Seven to nothing, Miami, Ohio. This approach by Miami is probably the most popular thing in college football this year that people have adopted because of the success of Northwestern. Tell me when will you be mine? Things up. How about something different for a change? Check out McDonald's new taste menu. McDonald's of Hawaii presents the Sourdough Supreme Burger with smoked cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese and savory grilled onions. And the Sourdough Crispy Chicken Sandwich with Monterey Jack cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Both served on toasted sourdough bread. The new taste menu. Always changing, always at McDonald's. We'd love to see you smile. Stop by and try a sourdough sandwich today. Warrior fans, join the UH men's basketball team as they start their season with the Nike Tip-Off Tournament on Friday, November 16th and Sunday, November 18th. Show your support on Friday night when the Warriors open their schedule with Norfolk State at 7.30, sponsored by Verizon Wireless. Then on Sunday night, join American Savings Bank to find out who will meet Hawaii at 7.30. Be one of the first 1,000 fans to the gate to receive a mini basketball. Call 5 to 6 4400 to reserve your tickets today. It's a great time to be a Warrior. Remember when UH beat Fresno State for the WAC football championship? Hawaii win! Or recently when the Warriors beat SMU in overtime. What a comeback by the Warriors! You can relive those exciting UH sports moments with K5 The Home Team Sports On Demand, exclusively on Oceanic Digital Channel 221. Choose classic football and volleyball games from the past or even select games from the current season. But best of all, you control when the game starts. K5 The Home Team Sports On Demand, only on Oceanic's Digital Channel 221. Miami, Ohio with an inexorable drive the first time that they had their hands on the ball. 68 yards in nine plays. Steve Little, a two yard touchdown run culminating everything. That's his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. Waiting for it is Owens. He'll return it again. Owens over the 20. Owens goes down over the 23 yard line. So Hawaii will have its second possession on their own 23. Verizon Hawaii will honor a player from each team in tonight's game as it proudly continues its support of the University of Hawaii General Scholarship Fund. Verizon Hawaii, how to get life done. So now Hawaii must respond. They were three and out the first time. Nick Rolovich, the quarterback, and with him is Mike Bass. Hawaii comes out. In the usual spread formation, trailing seven to nothing, with 9:36 remaining in the first quarter. In motion is Bass. Rolovich swings to Bass. Bass.
intercepts by a defender and then stumbles over the 30 yard line gets to the 31. So for Mike Bass that's his 26th reception of the year. Bass able to get around Terrell Jones. And Coach Jones has what he wants here Jim. He's got Mike Bass one on one. And that one on one matchup is not good with almost anybody uh, for the defense because Mike Bass has such ability to make you miss. Second down and three. Ball at the 31. Triple wide receiver to the right. Rolovich throws to Colbert. That's the second time that that play has not worked at all. Matt Robillard is there again. That's Robillard, 6'3", junior from Milford, Connecticut. Third on the team in tackles with 94. That's the kind of play that you can recognize and stop just with recognition if you're well drilled. And this Miami team will be as well drilled a team as the University of Hawaii will face all of this year. That brings up third down and five. Loss of two on the play. Clifford is flanked to the left. Stutzman, Harris, and Lalee split to the right. Harold Mitchell now has gone in, and he will be at the blocking back. They throw it to Harris. Time for the first down. He may be sufficient enough to get it. Gets out to about the 34-yard line. Harris's second catch of this game. A lot of zone defense from Miami of Ohio. Uh, the Red Hawks play a lot of zone defense. They'll sprinkle in the man to man, but they feel like they need to keep all their people looking at the ball against the University of Hawaii. Play a lot of zone, mix the zone blitz and a little bit of man, just so they can rally to the ball as you saw there. Hawaii fifth in the nation in passing offense, averaging 336 yards a game. First down from the 35, quick throw. And that throw was decidedly behind Stutzman. It had broken, and he threw that in. Rolovich did, threw it into the defensive possibilities there, almost triple coverage. Alfonso Hodge was there, Ron Sprague was there. This Miami team will not be intimidated, Jim, by the, the big stadium, which is larger than a lot in their conference because they opened the season at Michigan in front of 105,000 people. They went to Iowa in front of a full house, so they've, they've been to some great places. Second down and 10, Hawaii again in the spread. Rolovich in trouble, throws it incomplete. Now we'll see if there was a receiver there. Bob Petrovic, who has four sacks, almost had his fifth. And I think we will have an intentional grounding call. You Nick see. Rolovich right here Jim as you see him he gets rid of the ball there's no receiver in the area and in order to throw the ball away you have to be outside Central the box. grounding on the offense the down will be three at the spot of the throw. Rich Collin is the head official tonight he's the referee. That just goes back to the spot of the infraction. Bob. Petrovich, by the way, making his 33rd consecutive start. He's one of the fastest players on the Miami team, and he showed almost stalking his quarry there as he rushed from the edge. Outstanding high school football in the state of Ohio, and most of these guys, although there are some exceptions, some notable exceptions, but most are from Ohio. Third down, long yardage, third and 23 following the penalty. Rolovich, four-man rush, steps up, throws long for Lully, has it at midfield. And Lully will score. 78-yard touchdown pass. That's something, Jim, we may see a good bit of because I think that uh, Miami of Ohio will have difficult time running with the University of Hawaii. Hawaii has an advantage in quickness. You see this here from Ashley Lali as he takes it to the house. Twelfth touchdown reception for Lali, and that pass was laid right in there. That's a late hit on the quarterback. Yep, and you see the flag come in. It was Petrovich again. 
So Justin Ayat comes in. And roughing the passer has been declined. Touchdown. A penalty, as you heard, declined. So Ayat comes in out of the hold of Jared Flint. Brian Smith is the long snapper, the center. And Ayat trying to tie up this game with seven minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. He does. Now, Terry Hefner, the Miami coach, Jim, is saying to his defensive backs, right here, it's third and a million. Don't let somebody get behind you. Just get, get in position to be able to handle the deep one if they throw it in front of you, rally to the ball, because clearly, as you see from that, from that shot, uh, it's going to be a difficult time if they get a foot race. 78 yard touchdown throw. 15th touchdown pass of the year for Rolovich. And the 12th touchdown reception of the year for Lalee. What a player he is. Boy, well, he comes back 76 yards in six plays. Two minutes and 16 seconds of elapsed time. Rolovich to Lalee. As Lully just outraced Paul Tripp. So Ayat, the freshman, will kick off for Hawaii. We're tied at seven. One thing that June Jones always says about this offense, even though it may look like we were in trouble, and they were, third and 23, because we are so quick in striking for touchdowns, we're never really out of the game. And that was a prime example right there. Milt Bowen and Corey Kirkpatrick are deep. Ayat will kick off. And this one will drift out of bounds. That's the fifth kickoff that's gone out of bounds this season for Ayat. That will give that will give Miami excellent field position at the 45 yard line. That one wasn't just out of bounds. That was out Free of this time out of zone. On the kicking team, ball we put in play at the 35. Jim, we see right here, we see Tillets. Great story. They had a game that they won on a Hail Mary with like six seconds left. They went 80 yards or 76 yards against Akron. The ball was thrown to Tillets, and he caught it for the touchdown. And they say now that the game is not over, and Tillets. Over. Over. Very good. First down at the 35. Single setback is Steve Little. Already he has scored a touchdown. Keeping the ball rockless for the rolling. In trouble. Gets away from Iosu and out over the middle. And that is incomplete. It was intended for Chauncey Henry. We have a penalty play. May have hold him. And we do. Impressed with Roethlisberger so far, just in his ability to, to wait and move his feet and clear himself and, and, and make a throw, find somebody open. On that first drive. Holding on the offense, 10 yards, previous spot, down to still one. On that first drive, Roethlisberger was 5 for 5 in passing for 43 yards. Now, it is still first down, but first down and 20. They come out in the spread. Luke Clemens has gone in at the running back, replacing Little. Roethlisberger, Hawaii not showing blitz. Roethlisberger screen. That is complete to Larkin. Larkin at the 30. 35. Down at the 39-yard line. Gain of 14. Michael Larkin, 5'8", freshman out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Second cousin of Cincinnati Reds. Shortstop Barry Larkin. You can see the athletic lineage. It's a very safe play in long yardage, and Larkin finds a crack, gets it up the field, does a nice job with the with the wide receiver screen. Larkin's 23rd reception of the year. Second down and six from the 39. We are tied at seven. Ball is given to Clemens, and he goes nowhere. Green shirts really plug it up. Clemens, 5'10", 208 pounds, sophomore out of Dayton, Ohio, a former walk-on, came in with 429 yards in rushing. That was his 108th carry. He has one touchdown. So that'll bring up third down, long yardage, third and eight. 
Ball is back at the 37. Roethlisberger with time sideline pattern that is complete to till it and that is the first down they worked on Elamimian just enough cushion for the first down so they overcome the holding penalty and the first and 20 a nine yard game this is an audible well done by Roethlisberger shows exceptional poise for a freshman throws a strike just enough for the first down Tillis did a nice job of taking it right up to the sticks before he made his cut First down at the 47 yard line of Miami. The Red Hawks. Ball is given to Little and he probes the secondary. Stepping past the line of scrimmage for good gain on first down. Matt Wright and Chris Brown, the outside linebacker on the left, and Brown, the middle linebacker, converged on him. You can look for Roethlisberger to keep the ball, Jim, off that counter play anytime, sometime real soon here, because that time, had he kept it, it he was a uh, big time long run on this side. Get on the play of seven, second and three. So the offense continues to click for Miami. Roethlisberger steps up, throws, and gets the ball outside to Little, and Little is wrestled to the turf at the 50-yard line. An excellent defensive play by Nate Jackson. Nate Jackson is a terrific open field tackler. He chatters his feet. He brings himself to balance. He makes the play. He's a, he's a fierce hitter, but he can also get people down in the open field, which is a terrific combination. Miami came into this game. Roethlisberger had been sacked 33 times. Hawaii has not been able to get to him yet. Third down, six. From the Hawaii 48, Roethlisberger sets up, throws. That is complete to Tillits at the 30, and out of bounds he goes at the 25. Pinpoint passing. Great timing on that pattern. 22-yard gain and a first down for Miami. This is a nice job of moving the pocket to the left. Roethlisberger sets up and delivers just before he's hit until it runs a nice route to the outside. Miami doing a nice job at this point of mixing things up. Here they are in two tight ends. They put the ball at the 27, 27 yard line of Hawaii first down. Roethlisberger on a delay gives it to Clemens. Clemens breaks one tackle and is still being wrestled with as he gets inside the 25 yard line. The fact that they are in no huddle and they change personnel from one tight end, two tight ends, no tight ends makes it difficult for the opposition to match up or substitute to get a matchup because they, they don't have time since. Uh, the Red Hawks are in no huddle. Roethlisberger nine for nine in passing, 86 yards. 335 left to play in the first quarter. Nine for nine. He's having a perfect night. Second down, seven. Roethlisberger one step drop from the shotgun. Now he throws. That's complete, and that is complete to Kirkpatrick. Corey Kirkpatrick, number 88. Oh, does he see the field well? That is not just good. That is real good because he he was about to scramble and run the football. And this is something you have a difficult time teaching. He keeps his poise. You see him here. He starts to scramble and he has enough presence of a mind to unload the ball at the last second. And uh, he has terrific instincts, Jim. So Kirkpatrick, his eighth catch of the year. Roethlisberger's string now in completions stands at 10. Perfection continues in his passing. Ball is given to Little. Turns the corner, breaks a tackle. He's at the five. Touchdown. That's the counter play again that has been the most difficult thing for the Warriors to stop so far this year. 12-yard touchdown run for Steve Little. He's having a night. Breaks the tackle there, stops, starts again, and scores. Nice job by 25, Steve Little.
going to try the point after is par season it is perfect three minutes ten seconds left to play in the first quarter Miami Ohio 14 Hawaii 7. a part of the excitement. Become a warrior in the Nakua Club. The Nakua Football Club provides support for the team and coaches. Hi, I'm June Jones. Help our warriors by joining the Nakua Football Club. Call 956-4513. Dear Gary, thank you for always being there. Seems like whenever I'm in trouble, there you are, like some kind of angel. Like that time a pipe broke and flooded my house. You went beyond the call of duty. Mahalo, Gary. My cleanse rep. My hero. Oh, and P.S. You didn't happen to see my goldfish, did you? Island Insurance. Always here to help. There's still time to get a great deal on a delicious hot pizza from Pizza Hut. Call right now, order the Pizza Hut Home Team Special, and they'll have it to your door before the game is over. Here's today's special. Order any large pizza and pay the price of a medium. Offer good for a limited time only. I will be an exceptional paddler. I will be an exceptional teacher. I will be an exceptional father. Now, there's a product as exceptional as you are. Introducing the exceptional account from Central Pacific Bank. Get maximum interest with maximum liquidity. Plus, CPB will pay your fees when you use any bank's ATMs. At CPB, you can count on exceptional. Protect your investment. Use Chevron gasoline with Tecron. And then get your car washed by the professionals at McKinley Car Wash on Kapiolani. They will make your car shine. Miami 14 and Hawaii 7. Roethlisberger 10 for 10 in passing. He was 5 for 5 on the first drive. He was 5 for 5 on the second drive. 57 yards on drive number 2. 12 yard touchdown run by Steve Little. His seventh rushing touchdown of the season. The kickoff will go to Chad Owens. Three yards deep. He's going to return it again. He is at the 20. And is tackled at the 22. Big Island Candies in Hilo is the home of the famous chocolate dipped shortbread cookie as well as other delectable chocolates. Visit them online at BigIslandCandies.com. 78 yard touchdown pass for Hawaii to tie the score at seven followed by another inexorable drive by Miami. They appear unstoppable in that offense. Inexorable, does that mean good? Yes. Thank you. It, it does. A form of it. A form of good. First down at the 22. Rolovich. <laughs> Waits, throws up the sideline for Harris. Harris makes the catch at the 45, but he was out of bounds. Covering on the play was Milt Bowen and Rod Clark coming over from the middle. See, Jim, I'm getting a free education up here because I go home. Every every evening after after the game, and I, there's three or four things that I've learned. Elon, last week. Uh, so this is my vocabulary is just going to be out of sight uh, at the end of this season. Well, I'm glad I could help. Second down and ten. The lead now over a thousand yards, 62 catches, 1,000. 33 yards with that 78 yard touchdown reception. That pass goes right off Colbert. Looks like it went off his face mask. Ball was really drilled at him by Rolovich. Colbert right, unable to hold on. Hit him right in the face mask. The 
ball delivered well by Nick Rolovich and just gets through uh, Jason's hand Justin's hands hits him right in the face mask you got to catch the nose of the ball stop the nose of the ball now the third down play this third and 10 the touchdown play was third and 23 let's we'll see how Hawaii fares here Rolovich backing up now stepping up throws up the sideline incomplete. He wanted Colbert covering on the play was Michael Adams and Adams covered him well. That'll bring a fourth down and Hawaii will kick it away. So far Jim this game is is uh, Hawaii has made one play and Miami of Ohio the Red Hawks have made many plays. And so we're, we're talking about a real inequity in in, uh, in the game thus far. Uh, the score is not really indicative of the inequity that exists on the field at this point. Matt McBriar will punt it to Eddie Tillett. Phillips in punt returns 22 he averages 10 point four a punt return and he has one touchdown Tillis by the way is zoology major excellent punt that drives Tillis all the way back to the 16 yard line makes an over the shoulder catch gets out over the 20 and is down at the 27. I think the crowd wanted an illegal block. 60 yard punt and a nine yard return. Matt McBriar is such a weapon. He is such a weapon. I, be I believe there's a legitimate complaint here of a block in the back. I think you can see it right there. And that is clearly a block in the back. You wonder what people are looking at out there. That's what one looks like in case you see one again. <laughs> First down for Miami at their own 27 yard line. They lead in this game 14 to 7, 231 left in the first quarter. Roethlisberger throw sideline pattern. That is complete to Ryan Hawk. Hawk has come in as a wide receiver. He is the backup quarterback. 6 2 sophomore out of Centerville, Ohio. He was an option quarterback in high school, but he is used as the backup to Roethlisberger. And in order, I guess, to keep him busy, he catches passes. In on the play at three to the 30. Second down and seven. Again, without a huddle. Triple wide receiver to the left. Here comes Chris Brown on a blitz. And they give it to Little right up the middle. And he blew right past Chris Brown. And he has the first down out to the 42 yard line. Another excellent run by Little, 12 carries, rather, excuse me, six carries for 49 yards and two touchdowns. They continue in no huddle and, and uh, they check the sideline to get the formation, the play, and Roethlisberger calls out the blocking assignments or makes any check. Roethlisberger 10 for 10 in passing. It doesn't get any better than that. Quick handoff. This is Little struggling in the arms of Chris Brown to the 46 on first and 10. Chris Brown and Matt Wright, right number 44, converge on him. Give him a play of about four and a half, second down for Miami. They continue to go deep into the playbook. Different variations on the offensive theme. Roethlisberger from the shotgun steps out of trouble being chased throws it that's complete that's complete to Ryan Hawk and Hawk is down at the 35 yard line we have a penalty flag thrown at the 44 17 yard game Roethlisberger just got that off in time pass interference called on Hawaii Roethlisberger even though he is just about to be overwhelmed still has the wherewithal to see the field and the throw he's done that time and time again. So they're going to discuss the penalty. Pass interference on the offense. Ten yards previous spot the down is still through. That did look a little weird. When he said pass interference on the defense, now he says it's on the offense. So we are corrected. What do you see, Coach Hepner? I think that was an illegal pick. Terry Hepner was an assistant at Miami, I believe, Jim, for, for 13 years. 
on several different staffs of outstanding coaches that have been through Miami of Ohio, but he was last on Randy Walker's staff, who's now the coach at Northwestern. 38 seconds left to play. Second down, long yard. It's second and 20. Ball at the 32-yard line. Roethlisberger, audibleizing. Clement sets up on his right. Roethlisberger, two-man pattern. He may not have gotten that all. He was really scrambling. Well, it's to switch things around. Right, in their system. Play game on the offense. Five-yard penalty down is still two. In their system, he's got to unwind things. He's got to tell everybody he's changing the play. And then he's got to tell the center he's changing the play. And then he's got to tell the center, hurry up. That's what this was about when he when he rotated his arms like that. And there's just a lot of things that have to happen in a very short period of time. And you're going to have some stuff, some delays possibly, because you're trying to do a lot of things in a short period of time. Second down and 25. The ball now at the 27-yard line. Roethlisberger waiting for the snap from the shotgun. Looks left. Now he'll run. Or will he? Throws it. That's complete. That's complete to Branch. Branch's leading receiver. That's his 40th catch of the year. He came in with 501 yards. 11 for 11. That's the end of the first quarter. And Miami has been up and down this field. They have scored two touchdowns. And this freshman quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, may be one of the best that we have seen this season. The new 2002s are here, and Cutter stores everywhere have got to make room. So we're slashing the prices on all remaining 2001s and offering financing as low as 0% and rebates up to $5,000 on select models. It's the Cutter 2001 clearance, with all 2001s priced to move. And great deals on new 2002s. Happy New Year! Warrior fans, join the UH men's basketball team as they start their season with the Nike Tip-Off Tournament on Friday, November 16th and Sunday, November 18th. Show your support on Friday night when the Warriors open their schedule with Norfolk State at 7.30, sponsored by Verizon Wireless. Then on Sunday night, join American Savings Bank to find out who will meet Hawaii at 7.30. Be one of the first 1,000 fans to the gate to receive a mini basketball. Call 526-4400 to reserve your tickets today. It's a great time to be a Warrior. comes a new Four Island Concert Tour, Blues Traveler. Tickets for the Four Island Concert Tour are on sale now. Friday, November 16th at the Maui Arts Center. Saturday, November 17th at the Waikiki Shell. Sunday, November 18th at the Hilton Waikoloa Village Grand Ballroom in Kona. And Monday, November 19th at the Kauai Marriott Hotel. Tickets for all shows are available by phone or online. Take a look at tonight's fantastic Sam's fantastic fans. It's the Kapolei Warriors. That's where the sun goes down every night in Hawaii. Get a great view from Kapolei. <laughs> fantastic, yeah. It must be the hair, right? I like the hair. I like the hair. Fantastic Sam's a proud supporter of UH Sports and the University of Hawaii Athletic Foundation. Larkin and Henry are flying to the far side and branch to the near side as the receivers as we begin the second period. Roethlisberger to throw again. Dancing, dancing, looking, throws, incomplete. That's his first incompletion officially. We said he was 11 for 11 officially. He was 12 for 12 before he throws his first incompletion and forces uh, the punt. 
Mike Wofsig comes in to punt. He's from Germantown, Ohio, 6'4", freshman. So Roethlisberger 12 for 12 before he throws his first Aaron pass, and he still had time. He, he was looking. He did, but a better job by University of Hawaii of, of covering when he scrambled, and that's certainly their best defensive series of the game. Chad Owens is the excellent snap. There's the punt. And this is a very good punt. Owens takes it on the nine. He's hit immediately, and here comes the penalty play. We could have a halo violation. 50-yard punt and no return. Rod Clark came down and tackled Chad Owens immediately. I think if you slow that one down, that's not a halo violation. I think he was outside it. He's just going full speed. I think that we'll probably have a good chance, Jim, to get that rule changed this year because I believe that people are getting tired of, of the way this rule is interpreted. Let's see if he's inside of the halo Interfering right here. The to make the catch. Five no. yards from the spot of the foul. First down, Hawaii. It's not a halo violation, but it's so hard to see because the, the man that's making the tackle is going full speed. I think if we increase that up to five yards um, and with no opportunity for fair catch, you'd probably have more exciting kick returns. You wouldn't have those collisions and people would want their sons to be punt returners right now yeah. they have to take volunteers first down following the penalty Chad brother of Shannon Harris is in motion all is given to Bass and he's dragged down from behind as he goes from the 15 to the 19 yard line will roof 6 4 270 the freshman out of Louisville Kentucky excellent run stopper you can you can see why that's the first rush by Hawaii in this game. It comes with 14-21 left to play in the second quarter. Second down and a long six. Ball at the 24. Again, five receivers. They give the ball to Colbert. Covered on the screen, finds some running room, and is able to go for the first down before he's tackled by Rod Clark. The University of Wife did a nice job here of getting the screen off. The Red Hawks have stopped the first two, but that time Colbert had some running room right up the middle and nearly had a breakaway. Third catch of the game for Colbert. First down. from the T formation. This is a rarity for Hawaii. Short drop, quick throw, Colbert. Colbert out over the 35. Michael Adams wrapped him up. Good gain on that play. Close to nine yards. That'll bring up second down and one. Colbert gathers in his fourth reception of the game. Hawaii trailing here 15 to seven. Two excellent drives by Miami, Ohio. This is a very favorable down and distance for the University of Hawaii. Nick Rolovich can can do a lot of different things here. He can he can dust him off with a long one, come back and get the first down on third and one. He can do uh, he has a lot of options with this football. Again from the shotgun. Rolovich triple wide receiver to the right. Here comes the blitz. Rolovich throws. That is incomplete. Crossing pattern, the closest res receiver was Stutzman. He was about five yards upfield from where the ball landed. So that will bring up third down and one. Rolovich will go over and talk to June Jones. Very different communication techniques here. Miami is signaling every play in and at the University of Hawaii Rolovich gets over and talks to June Jones. Now we see Rolovich at wide receiver here Jim. Rolovich at wide receiver. Ball is snapped to Colbert pitches back to Farrell Mitchell. He runs around the corner for the first down. a very complicated answer to third down and one. Justin Colbert option. running the option. 
The Warriors have been working on this in practice where the quarterback just goes out to wide receiver. They've got to cover him down. Colbert plays quarterback, comes down the line, deals the ball quickly. So Colbert, who last week threw a, a brother up, it was a, it was a Mike Bass throwing the pass last week. This time Colbert comes in and in one of many roles. He's the quarterback. Rolovich tries to find Stutzman and he overthrows him. Covering on the play was Alfonso Hodge. Hodge, a redshirt freshman out of Cleveland. Second down and 10. That stops the clock with 12 minutes and 15 seconds left here in the first half. And Miami leading 14 to 7. Rolovich now 8 for 16, 110 yards and one touchdown. The big play, 78 yard touchdown pass from Rolovich to Ashley Lalee. Second and 10 from their 45. Rolovich steps up, throws. That's intercepted. That's picked off by Rod Clark, his second interception of the year. And Clark runs it down the sidelines and steps out of bounds at the Hawaii 38 yard line. Jim, you're, you're going to see a great job of execution here, Jim, because what the Red Hawks are doing here is doubling Ashley Lalee with Clark underneath, and he comes in and picks the ball beautifully. A lot of times you have defenses called, or you have something called an offense that beats the defense, and here's an example of a coverage call uh, by, the, by Miami of Ohio and Clark executed it perfectly and stole the ball as it was delivered to Lalee. Clark one of the most experienced defenders. Roethlisberger going back to work. First down inside the 40 pump fakes looks like checks off now throws left and that's incomplete. Jason Branch was the intended receiver covering on the play. Now that was one of those that Roethlisberger could have run for the first down again but his vision is downfield and he does a great job of delivering the ball off scramble and I'm sure that's what Coach Hefner wants him to do. Covering on the play was Peters. Second down and 10. Ball at the Warrior 38 yard line. See the audibleizing going on. Roethlisberger rolls, throws. That's complete to Larkin. Larkin gets by Milhouse, carries the ball inside the 30 to the 28. That could be enough for the first down. Jacob Espial and Nate Jackson finally corralled him. Well, you have to be impressed with the offensive prowess of Miami. University of Hawaii playing a lot of defense jam in this first quarter and a third. First quarter, Miami, Ohio ran 22 plays, Hawaii ran 12. We've got a similar disparity here in the beginning of stages of this quarter. First and 10 from the 28. Roethlisberger with little behind him. Roethlisberger gives it on a reverse to Henry. And Henry gets inside the 20 yard line. That's another first time, but we do have a penalty flow. Boy, that playbook, they must carry it around on a cart. That must be very thick. Look at all the variations that we've seen here in this first half. Well, you have to understand it's the end of the season. I think any any football team has accumulated things all year. They have special plays that they run every game. They can call on any of those at this time in the season, and it's something that they've run. Illegal push in the back on the offense. Ten yards, spot of the foul, the down stays one. So, Jim, what I'm saying is they have all the things that they've run all year, and they can just pick ones out, and they've still practiced them one week or another. And so their offense, whether you're the University of Hawaii or Miami of Ohio, or whoever you are, is just uh, has a lot, a lot of volume as the season winds to a close. It's a matter of execution, though. Can you execute it? First down and 12 from the 30. Penalty was from the point of the infraction. Roethlisberger throws screen pass Larkin Larkin with speed inside the 20 and inside the first down marker gets to the 17 that's another first down a 13 yard game. 
Let's see this. Roethlisberger gets the ball to the outside. And Larkin takes it right straight up the field, catch the ball, get it right straight up the field before the University of Hawaii can rally and make the play. Roethlisberger is 14 of 15 for 136 yards. His best performance of the year, 399 yards against Akron. First down, the ball just inside the 13-yard line. Miami threatening again. They lead 14 to 7. Roethlisberger pitches. This is Little running out of room. And Louis Correa horse collars him out of bounds. Now Terry Hefner has great respect for Coach Jones and his football team. And I know he feels like they just need to keep scoring because no lead is safe against the Warriors once they start to light it up. They reference the Fresno State game and other games where Hawaii has just exploded for the, the, uh, the SMU game. Second down and nine. Ball just outside the 16. Roethlisberger throws for the end zone. Leaping catch by Branch. And that's a touchdown. Boy, what a catch. Terrific catch by Branch. Hiram Peters tried to cover on the play, but Branch just leapt skyward and gathered in the ball for the touchdown. 16-yard touchdown pass. Branch is Lali plus about three inches. He's six foot six, and he used all of it right there. He's Boy. from LaBelle, Florida, and he really climbed the ladder to go get that one. That was a great throw because it was thrown completely away from the defense. That's a five eight corner against a six foot six receiver, and uh, that's a very difficult chore for Peters. Roethlisberger's 22nd touchdown throw of the year. He's now 15 for 16 in passes. He's having a tremendous first half. And it is now 21 to 7, Miami, Ohio. It's a night to see familiar faces out in the crowd. It's a night to see friends of mine enjoying themselves. Everybody get happy. We can work it out. We are friends. Friends, friends. We are friends. Attention Santa's helpers. The holidays are here, so don't delay. Order your Christmas tree now from Cliff LaBoy. Call 625-2815 for more information. We guarantee the finest stock of fresh-cut noble and Douglas firs, flock trees, and wreaths. Now while supplies last, you can pick up your tree at either of two convenient locations on Oahu, 710 Ward Avenue, and the Waipahu Shopping Center. Enjoy the healthy beauty of a fresh-cut tree and have a Merry Christmas from Cliff LaBoy. Bob found the perfect teak chairs to match his table in the Honolulu Advertiser's local news. He found his best friend in the classifieds. His new pool man, Tim, in an ad in sports. And obedience training classes in today's paper. Start with the Honolulu Advertiser, Hawaii's best buy. You're watching K5, the home team, giving you nothing but the best. Nakoa Football would like to send a warm mahalo to all of those people who have supported the Nakoa Football Foundation with their 2001 corporate sponsorships, including Guy Miyashiro and Company, Canaan Construction and Design, and Takayama and Sullivan. University of Hawaii offensively, Jim, has got to find a way to make some first downs here. They've got four, and there's just a tremendous disparity here in, in possession time in this game. And Andy Brumberg kicking off. Here is Chad Owens, hit at the 20, and spun down just short of the 25-yard line. Hawaii's offense has been pretty much stifled. Eighth interception of the season thrown by Rolovich. He does have a 78-yard touchdown pass, but that pretty much has been it for Hawaii. On the other side, Miami has just rolled up and down this field behind the quarterbacking of Ben Roethlisberger. 
running of Steve Little. Jason Branch with a great leaping touchdown catch. It is 21 to 7. As Rolovich goes back to work from the shotgun, the ball at the 25. Rolovich throws Stutzman. Stutzman with a good crossing pattern, able to gather it in just before he went out of bounds at the 44 yard line. Milt Bowen covering on the play. 20 yard gain. Stutzman with his 41st catch of the year. Nice, nice job by Stutzman getting open to the outside. And Rolovich rolled to his right to avoid the rush and laid the ball right on Stutzman. Lalee is flanked to the right. He's picked up there by Milt Bowen. Number 18, Bowen at 6'2, Lalee at 6'3. Stutzman goes in motion. They overload the left side with three wide receivers. First down from the 44 for Hawaii. Rolovich sacked. Sacked for the 31st time. Hawaii quarterbacks have been sacked 31 times this season. That is the 21st sack carried out uh, by Miami, Ohio. Petrovic was there. That's his fifth. He'll get half a sack along with Terrell Jones. Here you see the pocket collapsing, and you see Petrovic, number 92, and Jones collaborating on the sack. Petrovic looks to me to be an outstanding defensive line. He has very quick acceleration. He can go from the block, getting off a block, to, to his destination really quickly. 4.7 in the 40-yard dash. Second down, long yardage. Rolovich stepping up, looking long, throws long over the middle for Lali. Lali, the ball at the last moment, tipped away by Bowen. Excellent defensive play. He was right on the upfield shoulder. The perfect position for a defensive back on this route is a position that Bowen's in. Watch him. He's on the upfield shoulder. He's on the upfield shoulder. He sees the ball and he goes to get it. When you go underneath like that, you have to make sure you see the ball and can get your hand on it. Otherwise, you have to stay on the upfield shoulder. But he was in excellent, excellent position. He put on a clinic. Third down and 16 for Hawaii. 9.23 left to play in the first half. Rolovich from the shotgun again steps up throws long that is is it complete it is not complete oh the two officials looked at each other and kept looking at each other it was intended for Neil Gossett into the game in place of Lale. okay let's see this there's the push I he thought that was a catch out coach. of bounds but he was pushed out But he did come down out of bounds. The only time that they they will allow that is if you pick him up and carry him out of bounds. Fourth down. McBriar will kick to Tillett. Oh, look at this punt. Tillett's backpedaling, backpedaling inside the five. It lands on the one, and there it is. Unbelievable. What a weapon that young man is. 60 yard punt. Sean Butts downs it. Miami will start deep in their own territory. Time for the Jack in the Box play of the day. The always dangerous Boston Bean punt returner, Terrell Garbanzo, is ready to burn the carnivores with his third TD. But he didn't get far as the carnivore blimp pilot breaks through the wedge with an emphatic, not in my house. Play of the day is brought to you by the $1.99 Ultimate Cheeseburger. Two monster patties and three slices of melting cheese for just a buck 99. Eat like a carnivore. Come to Jack in the Box where we don't make it till a carnivore orders it. seven-year or 100,000-mile powertrain protection and 0% APR on 2002 Dodge Ram.
Warrior fans, join the UH men's basketball team as they start their season with the Nike tip-off tournament on Friday, November 16th and Sunday, November 18th. Show your support on Friday night when the Warriors open their schedule with Norfolk State at 7.30, sponsored by Verizon Wireless. Then on Sunday night, join American Savings Bank to find out who will meet Hawaii at 7.30. Be one of the first 1,000 fans to the gate to receive a mini basketball. Call 526-4400 to reserve your tickets today. It's a great time to be a Warrior. Matt McBriar, you see him there, the Australian 60-yard punt. And it just drops down to the one-yard line, and Sean Butts downs it. Now Miami will come out in an eye formation. Julian Goodman and Steve Little from the one. Roethlisberger, the quarterback. From the end zone, throwing long. That ball is incomplete. It was intended for Branch, double covered by Espial and Milhouse. Very safe pass. Throw it as far as you can. Try to make a play. Now you're trying to get the ball out of the end zone the next couple of snaps. Just to add something onto your punt in case you don't make a first down. You have Roethlisberger, the freshman, unafraid in the end zone. Fifteen of eighteen now. Ball is given to Little, and he's plugged up as he gets just to the two, maybe the three-yard line. We'll see where they give him forward progress. And that's Samuseva and Matt Wright led the charge. Samuseva number 92, and Wright number 44. There's Kevin Lempa trying to come up with uh, the right formula here for the University of Hawaii. You'll notice that that Miami is huddling now. This is a critical situation. They're huddling. They're trying to get this thing right. They need to get it out enough so they can kick it if they have to. Miami two for three in third down conversion. Ball is at the two. Goodman and Little. Roethlisberger in the end zone. Still in the end zone. And now a whistle blows. We'll see. We may have delay, again. delay of game. That was a weird play. Roethlisberger was in the end zone, started sprinting, then stopped and started sprinting delay again. Delay game on the offense. Half the distance to the goal. The down is still free. Half the distance to goal. That's a six-inch penalty. <laughs> I put it back on the one. Still third down. Branch comes in, replacing the tight end, Robert Frazier. Branch, remember, with that touchdown reception, he is flanked to the left. Triple wide receiver to the right. From the shotgun in the end zone, Rafflesberger. Rolling, pro sideline, that ball out of bounds. That was intended for Randy Stegman, number 81. That'll bring a fourth down, and Miami will have to punt it out of its own end zone. That's a great job by the Hawaii defense. So the defense and Matt McBriar have collaborated here to give Hawaii uh, possibly some great field position. You have always said the importance of special teams and the importance of a punter. One punt has changed the complexion here. Yes. Yes. A punter is a devastating weapon. Wafsig, 38.8 yard average. He's uh, punted it for 55. He's got to really root this. Chad Owens standing at the 43. There's the snap. There's the kick. Owens waiting. No fair catch. Comes in. Takes it at the 44. Looking for blocking. Owens in trouble. And down he goes. Very short return. 43-yard punt and a four-yard return. Wapsick, Wapsick didn't have... The usual distance, but he still rooted it out pretty good. That would he would have been better off, Chad Owen, just take it right straight up the field, get some yardage in the record book, quit going sideways. Griselle's life is not about making money. She reads to children in the hospital. She builds props for kids' theater groups. She loves to dance. As an HMSA member, Griselle has a health plan that's within her budget so she can afford to do the things that bring her the most joy. This is her plan, to take care of her mind, her body, her spirit, her health. In Hawaii, 
The flowers depend on the sun, the mountains on the rain, and our people depend on one another. We must keep it so. Hawaiian Airlines, now flying the newest and most dependable jets. Inter-island service you can rely on. Hawaiian Airlines, wings of the islands. Aloha, I'm James Grant Benton. Question, what would happen if we stopped flying to the neighbor islands? What would happen if we stopped going to the store? What would happen if we stopped leaving our houses or stopped doing business with each other? What would happen if we lost our aloha? What would happen? Nothing. And they'd win. Support local businesses. Support America with aloha. Have you ever wondered what really goes on inside your child's classroom? From lack of money to run-down buildings and rambunctious students, classrooms of today probably are a lot different than when you went to school. Join News 8's Minasugi Moto Wednesday at 6 and 10 for Candid Classroom. She'll take you behind the scenes to show you just how challenging it is for Hawaii teachers. Plus, local students come clean about how they treat their teachers and how much learning really goes on in the classroom. Candid Classroom, Wednesday at 6 and 10 and only on News 8. Luxuriate at Maui's new Outrigger Wailea Resort in a garden view room for only $125 per night. Call 1-800-OUTRIGGER for information. 1-800-OUTRIGGER. Restrictions apply. Remember, Outrigger is a Hawaii company. First down for Hawaii on the 40-yard line of Miami, Ohio. Hawaii trails in this game 21-7. to They have an opportunity here. Lali flanked to the far side, triple wide receiver to the near side as you look. Lali, ball thrown high, thrown wide. Rolovich continues to struggle with consistency. Rolovich is now 9 for 21 in passing. One touchdown and one interception. Second down and 10 from the 40. Mike Bass now flexed out. So they come out with really five wide receivers. And Rolovich in the shotgun by himself. Rolovich will run. 30. Out of bounds at the 25. That's enough for a first down. 15 yard jaunt. Got to contain the quarterback on defense. They lose contain here to Rolovich's left side to their right side. And how sweet it is for the University of Hawaii. The defensive line must have a balanced rush and have containment on either side. Rolovich running away from D. John Domenico. First down at the 25 yard line of Miami. Again, five receivers, five potential receivers. Rolovich, quick pass, throws it low and behind Colbert. Incomplete. Hawaii really has improved when they get into the red zone. They've had 42 possessions inside the 20. They have scored 21 touchdowns and 10 field goals in those 42 possessions 31 of 42 but still there are teams that are are much better but that's certainly an improvement over the early in the year Colbert to the left and Lully wide to the right Rolovich looking throws that's complete to Lully with space he's at the 10 first down 15 yard game away now at the 10 yard line. Lali just continuing to present matchup problems. As you see here, Rolovich rolling to his right. Lali is matched up against the zone defense right there and just finds the, the hole in the zone and sits down like a good receiver should do. Matt Robillard was there to corral him. Ball is at the 10. 
21 to 7, Miami, Ohio. Hawaii trying to play catch up with 6.54 left to play in the first half. Hero Mitchell back with Rolovich. Rolovich now throws to the end zone, throws it way high for Lali. Rolovich under pressure. Milt Bowen covering on the play for the Red Hawks. Milt Bowen doing a nice job with Lali. He's a big, strong corner. Uh, he's not getting muscle like some of the corners that Lali has played against have, and he's not at, at a height disadvantage also. So he's he's doing a nice job of holding up thus far, except for the one big one uh, that they allowed earlier. Second down from the 10 yard line. Rolovich into the corner for Lali. Lali catches it for the touchdown. I speak too soon. This is excellent concentration on the part of Lali because Bowen has a beat on the ball. What he does right here is he goes up for the ball and Lali is behind him. He needed to play his hands and knock the ball out of his hands as it came down because he was beaten. Lale three catches, 102 yards and two touchdowns in the game now. Ayat drills the point after. That's good. It's now 21 to 14, Miami. What about the touch of Rolovich on that pass? Into great, the great touch. Terrific touch. He threw it where only place he could throw it. He threw it deep into the end zone. He threw it so that Lali was at the very back of the end zone. And Bowen tried to make the play. He tried to make the play on the ball. And again, it might have been a better thought for him to try to make a play on Lali on his hands. He looked for the ball and what most secondary coaches tell people Jim is if they're beat if there's somebody behind them don't look for the ball like that. Look at the reception area look where the hands are try to knock the ball out because when you look for the ball routinely the ball goes over your head. 13th touchdown reception for Lali. I've said many times that he gets his hands organized so well to catch so many different kind of balls. Uh, he just does a terrific job of that. Walter Murray is the number one pass receiver for the University of Hawaii in 45 games, 2,865 yards. Ashley Lully in 33 games came in with 2,583. Ball is kept by Bowen. Bowen still not going down. Finally gets mashed at the 15 yard line. Walter Murray, one of those guys among many other great uh, rainbow, rainbow warrior players that made me a good coach. Uh, and Ashley has a lot of the physical characteristics that Walter Murray had. Ashley has made up that 300 yard difference between number one and number two in receiving. Has over 100 yards already in this game. 21 to 14. Here comes Miami with Roethlisberger, who has been spectacular in this first half. 15 for 19 in passing now. And earlier he went 12 in a row. Roethlisberger throws up the sideline for Branch, incomplete. Coming over was Nate Jackson. Branch earlier with a touchdown reception. That leaping touchdown reception. Second down and 10 for Miami. I feel like Miami has gotten a little impatient here. They were very patient the first couple of drives, and I feel like they've gotten a little impatient. Uh, and they're better off when they're a little more patient. Kalai Lee, number 56, has gone in in that uh, defensive line, replacing some of several. Houston Allah also in that defensive line. Second and 10 from the 18. And we have, I believe, a false start. Crowd can be credited for that. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Five yards penalty, the down is still two. 
Well, the negative, Jim, of the style of offense with the no huddle and the offensive linemen, the offensive linemen have to stay in a stance, cocked, ready to go, just like the defensive linemen do for a real long time, while the quarterback does all his gyrations and so on, and that for some is very difficult. Triple wide receiver to the left, second down and 15. Ball now at the 13-yard line. Quick pass. That is complete to Tillich, trying to get outside, and Tillich is banged out of bounds by Robert Grant. Grant coming into that secondary. Hawaii trying to adjust on defense. That'll bring up third down long yardage. I think Kevin Lempa's defense has adjusted very well the last couple series. They're getting tuned in, and they're adjusting, and the Red Hawks have not, have not done quite as well the last couple series. And certainly, uh, Roethlisberger is going to cool off a little bit. Third down and 11. From just short of the 19-yard line. Roethlisberger in trouble. Now throws. Loops it complete to Tillich. He has the first down. He's at the 40, and down he goes at the 42. Another brilliant play by Roethlisberger. He really shows some nifty characteristics because this time, this time he's dead to rights. He's dead to rights right there. Elamimium has him dead to rights. He eludes him and gets out. The rusher, the corner coming off the blitz, has got to stay on the upfield shoulder. So the quarterback has got to evade him up inside. 23 yard gain. Till it's now six catches for 74 yards for. Miami Ohio first down from their own 41 yard line from the shotgun. Ball is given to Little. Little into that secondary. Little all the way into Warrior territory. Finally tackled at the Warrior 41 yard line. Kevin Jackson into the game defensively. Jackson number 11 the sophomore from Moreno Valley California finally diagnosed that run. Steve Little doing a nice job running the football thus far this evening. First down for Miami. Ball is given to Little. Trying to explore that secondary. Gets it inside the 40 yard line. Looking at the Hawaii coaches. That's in the uh, box. Here's Dan Morrison, the quarterback coach. Ronnie Lee right here. Rich Miano back here. I can't quite see over here. Doesn't look like look like there's a lot of conversation going on. Second down and seven. Ball just inside the 40. Roethlisberger looking. Throws over the middle. That's broken up. Well, it's intended for Henry. And Nate Jackson was there. Well done by Nate Jackson. Got his hand in there just as the ball arrived to knock it away. Let's watch Nate Jackson, number 12. Not only a terrific hitter, but a savvy player. Gets his hand in there in a timely fashion just as the ball arrived. And it's third down. Oh, he goes to the nickel on third down. Third down and seven. The ball at the 40-yard line. Tillett's and Henry to the far side. Branch to the near side. Another third down attempt. And we have movement for Miami. Moving with the tight end, Matt Brent. 6'5", sophomore from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He didn't start as tight end. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Five yards, previous spot, but down is still three. Brent didn't start as a tight end. In fact, this is the third position in three years that he has, that he has played. So... But still, false start is a false start. That'll bring up third and more difficult yardage now. Third down and 12 for Miami. Brandt is replaced at tight end by Robert Frazier. Phillips and Henry are flanked to the far side and Branch to the near side. Miami leading 21 to 14. Roethlisberger. With time, throws long. That's incomplete. Covering on the play was Milhouse. 
the intended receiver was Tillett's. We have a penalty flag. Could be offsides on Hawaii. It is. And we're back to third and eight. There you see June Jones. June Jones this year has been very upset at times with the officiating. Offsides on the defense. Five yard penalty. Replay. Third down. It is still third down, but now it is less difficult as far as yardage is concerned. It's it a is. nice job by Hawaii, Jim, right there in penalties. Two third, penalties, huh? Third down and seven, yes. Third down and seven. And a penalty flag. Roethlisberger. Illegal. Uh, uh, we have a false start, perhaps. Illegal motion. Could be Henry. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense, simulating the start of a play. Five yards penalty, the down is still free. Let's watch this receiver. Let's see what they're talking about here. You watch right here. He moves right prior to the snap. That's a violation. That's Henry. And so we're just kind of dancing here back from third and eight to third and 13. I am a three for five in third down conversion. Roethlisberger. That is complete to Larkin with running room. Larkin trying for the first down. He won't get there. Illuminian was there along with Joe Correa. Boy, Larkin, when he gets loose in that secondary, is very, very dangerous. Now we'll see whether Miami will go for it on fourth down. Nice job by Roethlisberger bringing the ball back inside. And they will. They'll go on fourth down. This is one of those situations you punt it, it goes in the end zone. It's a 17 yard punt. Fourth down and about five. They have to go to the 30, just short of the 32. Atlas for the with time. He's dangerous with time. Chase out of the pocket, now throws. That is complete. And that may be enough for the first down it is. That's to Randy Stegman, who makes the catch on his knees. That's a well-designed play, Jim, because Stegman was just available to Roethlisberger if he couldn't find somebody to throw to. He was available. He's not an early decision for him, but as you see him come out of there, he just hooks it up right there, and he's available for the first down. Boy, nobody was around him. Well-designed. Another third down conversion. This drive continues first and 10 from the 31 yard line of Hawaii. 21 14 Miami Ohio Roethlisberger rolling to the near side now throws over the middle. That's complete complete to Larkin leaping catch just short of the 15 yard line. They'll put it on the 16 and that's a 15 yard gain and another first down. Well the big thing we're seeing here Jim is is Miami of Ohio the Red Hawks are changing the platform Roethlisberger's throwing from a lot of different places and the University of Hawaii is just having a very difficult time getting pressure. Jacob Espial made the stop Larkin now seven receptions 90 yards in this first half 259 left the play. And half number one ball is on the 17 yard line. Larkin gives it to Little, explores that secondary, steps out of a hold, and gets inside the 10 to about the 9. Excellent run play. Miami, for the most part, really has been able, on first down, to gain substantial chunks of yardage. Well, I think Little's about 8 yards a carry. Which, in, in uh, I'm sure, in, for anybody's football team, that's, that's a... A good half of football. 12 carries, 82 yards, two touchdowns. Second down, about two and a half. It's Little. Little to the five. Little all the way to the two yard line. Excellent blocking up front. Ben Harrell, Justin Smith, 
Paul Thaler and Frank Smith. Timeout has been called with 2.08 left to play in this first half. 21 14, Miami, Ohio. If you're a AAA Hawaii member, you qualify. Military, you qualify. Labor union member, you qualify. Cable subscriber, you qualify. Credit union member, you qualify. Educator or government employee, you qualify. What do you qualify for? AIG's exclusive group auto insurance plan that could save you up to 25% or more. Call AIG and find out if you belong to one of our 200 participating groups. 533-AIGH. Lima Kukua means helping hands. And at 7-Eleven, it means an exciting new way to raise funds for your team, halal, school, or community organization. Sell the Lima Kukua coupon book to your family and friends for the suggested price of just $5, and they receive over $20 in free and discounted offers from 7-Eleven and Coca-Cola. This great fundraiser gets your group at least $2.25 for every coupon book you sell. So call 944-2-7-Eleven for the Lima Kukua coupon book from 7-Eleven. Okay, Popoki, let's see what they've got. Mm, it's got to have low mileage, and it's got to be purple. Mm, one owner would be nice. What can I afford? Bingo! Find the right car right now in Hawaii's Cars, Hawaii's biggest car lot, only in the Honolulu Advertiser Classified. I know I act like I know everything there is to know about buying cars. Look, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to get the best deal in a car, truck, van, or SUV. It's so simple. It just takes good old-fashioned horse sense, really, for the best possible deals and least aggravation. You need to come see us here. At King Windward Nissan. We've always got a great selection, and there's never any pressure. Just come in and drive out with the vehicle you really wanted. See, these guys really got good horse sense. They know that if you treat people right, they'll come back again and again. At King Windward Nissan, we're lifetime friends. 21-14 Miami, Ohio. This is the 12th play of this drive. They have it on the Hawaii two-yard line. My Miami does. Little now 13 carries for 89 yards and two touchdowns. Tillett's is flanked to the far side, picked up by Illuminium. High formation. It is Little. Little close to the goal line on first and goal. Miami will take their time here, Jim. They've got four downs down here to score a touchdown. They don't need it. They're not going to kick a field goal. Um, they're going to punch this in, but they're going to take their time because all the seconds they take keeps Hawaii from having those seconds to use on the offensive end. They come out with split backs. It is a little knifing toward the goal line. And let's see, touchdown. Took him a while. But the officials say, yes, he did break the plane. That's the third touchdown of this game scored by Steve Little. And now Hawaii has 125. They have three timeouts left, so they have plenty of time to get down the field. It and is. It is 27 to 14. And certainly, Jim, they, they need a drive before the half. They'd like to answer this touchdown with a drive of their own to get at least a field goal to get this thing within within 10 points before half. Jared Parsegian in to try for the point after. It is kicked, and it is good. 28-14 with one minute and 25 seconds left to play in the first half. Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger, the freshman quarterback, 20 of 26 in passing. He's already thrown for 209 yards and one touchdown. And Steve Little, 15 carries, 91 yards, and three touchdowns. I think, Jim, you're going to see this touchdown, but I think this game is a real testimony, in my mind, to the fact that any program in the country, if they'll do a good job of evaluating, can get football players, guys that are going to be outstanding college football players. Because the players for both teams that you see on display here this evening 
could play for anybody. They've been players maybe in, in large extent that have for Miami of Ohio that maybe grew up wanting to go to Michigan or Ohio State didn't get that opportunity went to Miami have lifted weights worked hard and and become terrific players and Ashley Lali a walk on so if somebody will do a great job evaluating they can get good players to come to their school and compete as long as they do a conscientious job of coaching and evaluating Miami 82 yards in 13 plays five minutes and 16 seconds of lap time kickoff goes to Chad Owens from the three trying to find the seam he does out to the 40 Owens to the 45 yard line boy he came charging out of that end zone a 41 yard return what, it, what Chad Owens does Jim is he hits these things flying what you need in a kickoff returner is exactly what you've got in Chad Owens you've got to have somebody that's fearless and will go up in there like there's going to be a big hole and if there is he can split it and make something happen too many kickoff returners tiptoe but as you see number 82 Chad Owens there he is a very courageous runner and he fires it up in there. First down for Hawaii at the 45 yard line they trail 28 to 14 trying to score back here in the final moments of this first half Rolovich throws long he wants Colbert broken up covering all the play was Michael Adams they were step for step shoulder to shoulder Michael Michael Adams doing a nice job here of being right again on the shoulder of Justin Colbert right on the outside shoulder making a play for the football well done second down and 10 from the 45 yard line 110 left to play in the first half Lully Harris and Stutzman to the far side Colbert again lines up to the near side Rolovich chased out of the pocket shovel pass incomplete Tended, I believe, for Bass. I think so, and that's that's the advantage of the shovel pass. You just you just throw it on the ground. It's an incomplete forward pass. We see Bass there trying to trying to hide. Third down. Hawaii in third down conversions three four six. Third and ten from their own 45 yard line. Rolovich steps up in the pocket, throws long down the middle. Colbert has a step. Colbert has the ball. Colbert inside the ten. Fifty yard pass play. Matt Robillard and Michael Adams save the touchdown. This is a couple of big plays for the University of Hawaii on third and long where they they spring a leak deep and Rolo does a nice job of delivering the ball on time. He takes a hit but you've just got to get up and jump back in there. Hawaii has the just outside the seven yard line. They trail 28 to 14. And they also have three timeouts. Rolovich throws it wide that could have been tipped. Throws it wide to Stutzman, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down and goal to go. Hawaii has three timeouts. They want to, if they, they certainly can use their timeouts here just to talk things over if they need to. And, and Miami might use a timeout if they need to talk to their defense. This is one of those times when you allow your defense to call timeout just to collect their thoughts right down here. White comes out with three wide receivers set up to the right side. Only Colbert on the left. Rolovich looking right. Throws. Touchdown. Harris. Third touchdown pass of this game for Rolovich. Nice throw and catch. Nick Rolovich got the University of Hawaii down the field and into the end zone. Good protection. Exactly what they needed. 28 20, Miami. Ayat taps on the extra point. It is 28 21. You talk about 
things changing in a hurry. Well, Hawaii went down 28 to 14, but they come right back, strike through the air. We're going to see this right, right through from the, the safety's view viewpoint. Nick Rolovich delivering right there to Shannon Harris for the touchdown, and let's see it from high and to the left. Perfect throw, nice catch. Touchdown, Hawaii. Third touchdown reception of the year for Harris. That is the 17th touchdown pass thrown by Rolovich and his third in this game. In fact, Hawaii goes 55 yards in five plays in only 43 seconds. The kickoff return, Jim, was the thing that set it up. The kickoff return. Chad Owens is, is, a, is a terrific threat in their kicking game again plays a big part. The kicking game, punt of Matt McBriar getting him great field position. The kickoff return, uh, Chad Owens is just making a difference no, to this okay. football team. Ayad right will kick off. Milt Bowen, number 18, and Corey Kirkpatrick, number 88, deep for Miami. Miami has three timeouts. Squibber comes down, bounces in the air, taken by one of the upmen. And that's Jeff Robinson. And Robinson able to gather it in, and then he gets whacked out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. First down for Miami, and still 37 seconds left, and both teams have three timeouts. Good coaching there by the University of Hawaii. Special teams, because they did not allow a return because they squibbed the ball. Had, had Miami done that on this end, maybe denied Owens a return, they might be in better shape. So that's a different coaching decision made by Miami and by Hawaii and Hawaii's turned out to really be helpful. Roethlisberger may be just taking a knee here and that'll be the last play of this first half. And he does. 28 21 Miami leading less than 30 seconds. See where they mark the ball for play and this will be the final play of the uh, first half. Or maybe we've had it. Roethlisberger looking to the sideline. And the clock will run down. You like this? Well, I didn't understand that. Because, I mean, if you got 30-some seconds left and three timeouts, and you've been moving the ball up and down the field, why don't you go ahead and take a couple cracks at it and see if you can make something happen? Because you've got, you've got, you can probably run six, eight plays in 37 seconds. So I, I, uh, I wonder about that. that Still very much game left in that second half. 28 21 at the break from Honolulu. Then I had that taste. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Now I'm a believer. With grilled sourdough bread. Not a trace. A doubt in my mind. Quarter pound of flame broiled beef. I'm in love. Two slices of melted Swiss cheese. Four strips of bacon. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Now for a limited time at Burger King. Shrek, the biggest movie of the year. Now available wherever videos are sold. Hi, Mike O'Neill from Bank of Hawaii again. I've been going over your emails and suggestions. And one suggestion came up over and over again. Lower minimum balances. Well, we hear you. So we're lowering minimum balance requirements on many consumer checking and savings accounts by as much as 50%. Let's see what this one says. Mike, have you ever considered acting lessons? Lower minimum balances. Another way Bank of Hawaii is really listening. Am I that bad?
Volkswagen Passat. It only looks like a million bucks. Twenty-eight, twenty-one, Miami, Ohio, over Hawaii. A very, as we mentioned, fuel-efficient first half, especially when it came to passing. When you take a look at Roethlisberger, the freshman quarterback, throwing to Branch, great leaping catch for the touchdown early on in the game. And then, even on the ground, Miami was very efficient. The running of Steve Little. Little, as far as rushing concerned, 91 yards on 15 carries. He has scored three touchdowns in the first half. But Hawaii was not to be denied either. Nick Rolovich threw three touchdown passes, one of them here to Ashley Lully in the deep corner of the end zone. And then in the waning moments of the first half, it was a touchdown throw to Shannon Harris, his third touchdown reception of the season. That made it close, 28 to 21. Let's take a look at the numbers now. Well, you see the biggest disparity here, Jim, you see in, in uh, you see a big disparity in time of possession right here that the University of Hawaii to help their defense be able to continue to be efficient as the game progresses need to take a little more time on the clock. Uh, the big disparity in rush offense big disparity for the University of Hawaii in penalty yards but Hawaii has been very efficient with their offense in terms of they've had a couple of scoring opportunities they've cashed in they've had the big play both of their scoring opportunities have come off big kicking game plays one great punt by Matt McBriar and a kickoff return by Chad Owen so we've got ourselves a heck of a football game and I think June Jones in the locker room must feel very fortunate that Hawaii is in this game as much as they are because certainly if you just come down to watch most of the first half you'd see Miami of Ohio executing very well you'd think they were ahead by more than they are. AT&T Wireless bringing you halftime stats and highlights your world close at hand with AT&T Wireless. Hawaii is a proud supporter of University of Hawaii Athletics. In the past few years, enough gill nets have been confiscated by state conservation officers to stretch from Diamond Head to Pearl Harbor. Sea turtles, small sharks, and other marine life were found dead in many of these nets. Some of these tragedies could have been avoided. Remember to check your nets every two hours and remove them from the water after four hours. Never ever leave your nets behind because they keep on catching and killing. Keep Hawaii wild. It's your heritage, too. Journal entry for July 3rd. Much time has passed since I first arrived on these shores. I have fashioned myself a crude shelter and taught myself to scavenge food to ensure my survival, since I find that I am unable to leave this tropical paradise. The Gulf Coast, just one of the many beautiful places you'll find in Alabama. The Olympic Games, no other sporting event compares to them. News 8 wants to get you geared up for February and the 2002 Olympics in Salt Lake. Don't miss our special reports. Olympic Gold, the road to Salt Lake, Tuesdays at 6. You're watching K5, the home team, giving you nothing but the best.
down here in the field with Hawaii head coach June Jones and coach offense is uh, efficient tonight. Well, they're they're really good, and we knew they were coming in, you know. And uh, uh, we got to make some plays in the second half. Uh, you know, th these type of games are fun to be in. You know, it's competitive. Uh, we're one play away from tying the game, but we got to make some plays in the second half on defense. You know, they're going to make some plays, obviously, but as long as we make a few, get a few turnovers, and then offensively turn them into something, we got a chance. I mean, you guys come back with about about 25 left in the half and rush it right down the field. That, uh, it's got to be something. I was going to call timeouts when they were going three minutes because I knew we could move the ball. That's why I called the first timeout. I wanted enough time to try to get it. Fortunately, Chad got it out to midfield something, and sure enough, Rolla made a couple of big throws. Well, defensively, what do you need to adjust? Well, uh, I think uh, from an offensive standpoint, we just got to be patient. They're going to, I think, change what they're doing a little bit. They're going to come after us a little bit more, and we're going to make some plays. We're going to change what we do. I'm going to tell you right now, if we prove that we can't do what we did in the first half on defense, we're going to get our passion and, our, and blitz them and come after them, and uh, hopefully we'll make some plays. All right, Coach, good luck yeah, to you. Thanks. June Jones out here on the field. A lot of changes coming. That's what's up on tap for the second half. Jim, back to you. What's on tap? Sponsored by Heineken. Heineken, it's all about the beer. 28-21 as we begin the, the second half. It is adjustment. Coaching staffs have that responsibility at halftime. What do you think both coaches had in mind coming out of this second half? Well, I, I think, I, I thought that uh, there were times there in the first half where Miami was more effective when they mixed the pass and the run. When they went more to pure pass, they weren't quite as effective. And I think they'll go back to that. Uh, as Coach Jones mentioned, I, I think that Hawaii needs to find a way to get pressure, however, and because they got so little pressure. And he alluded to the fact that they're going to come after uh, the Red Hawks more in the second half. I think that uh, we've got a heck of a half of football because I believe that uh, this game could be a real shootout before it's over because I think both teams have the potential to roll up a bunch of points. You've always been a, a person that looks at uh, statistics, pure statistics with a rather skeptical eye because you you say that you can have all the statistics in the world, but if you don't win the game, statistics mean nothing. Right. I think that the, the name of the game you're trying to win, you're trying to what a coach wants to see is his players with big smiles in the locker room after the game. You don't want to see players that scored this many touchdowns or threw for this many yards or rushed for this many yards or lost the game. I mean, because and the same things win the game, the turnover battle, the kicking game, playing well in the fourth quarter, doing well in critical situations. Those things win the game every week. And that does not change. It never changes. And I think uh, what the University of Hawaii has excelled in so far in this game is the kicking game has been terrific for them and has been big for them. And they've made a couple of big plays on offense. They were struggling on defense a little bit and, and have certainly changed that approach, as Coach Jones said, coming in the second half. But, Jim, the same thing wins every week. And it's not what necessarily I think some fans understand wins. Corey Kirkpatrick and Milt Bowen are deep for Miami. Kicking off will be Justin Ayak. We are underway in the second half. It will go to Kirkpatrick on the three. He gets pinched as he crosses the 15 yard line. Excellent kickoff cover by the University of Hawaii. Excellent kickoff by Justin Ayat. He, he, he really kicked that uh, much better. Sean Butts on the hit. He makes play after play after play in the kicking game. So huddling up on the sideline, though, you see Ben Roethlisberger. In the first half, he was simply superb. At times, he was perfect. Roethlisberger, 20 of 26 in passing, 209 yards, and one touchdown. His longest pass completion of that first half was 24 yards. Steve Little, who scored three touchdowns in the first half, back with him in the shotgun. Quick pass. This is Tillett, and Tillett's to the 20. Tillett's had an opportunity to go far, but he stumbled on the AstroTurf. This is the first time that Miami, Ohio, has played an artificial turf all season long. So they start again without the huddle gain on the play of only two second down and eight in motion is Tillis they overload the right side with three wide receivers.
Roethlisberger. Another quick pass. That is tipped. And will fall incomplete. That may have been tipped by, by Nate Jackson. Let's, let's see this. Roethlisberger delivers this ball. Jackson is coming. And he does a nice job. Doggone near got his hands on it well enough to intercept it. Jackson just makes so many plays during the course of the game. Miami three for six in third down conversions. It is third down and eight. Roethlisberger audibleizing. Steps up in the pocket, gets away, now throws. That's complete, and that's enough for the first down, and he has done that all game long. That's complete to Henry. Does as nice a job as any quarterback I've ever seen of starting to run and still having the ball loaded enough to unload it and uh, throw it. He does a really nice job. It's, it's hard to imagine to me that Roethlisberger is a freshman because he's going to be a terrific player before he's finished at Miami of Ohio. First down at the 32 yard line now for Miami. Another third down conversion to keep the drive going. Oh, he's showing blitz. Here it comes. And to give it to Little, he runs into Brown right away. Chris Brown right there. Looming up in front of Little. Little got the handoff and then he was looking into a green shirt. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. Now here's what we're saying that Coach Jones alluded to it at halftime. It's just more pressure. More pressure bringing people trying to mix up those rush lanes trying to give people a chance to make a play whether it be run or pass. Second down and 10 again from the shotgun away again showing blitz here they come Roethlisberger throws that's complete again it is to Henry and Henry is out of bounds at the 44 and that's another first down. That's zone blitz that time playing zone behind a blitz. And you had just have to find the, the hole in the zone defense, and Roethlisberger did that. 13-yard pickup. So Miami starting here in the second half where they left off. Miami in no huddle. First down from their own 43-yard line. Roethlisberger gives it to Little. Little, a short game. Able to carry the ball from the 43 to the 45. He was pinched early there. Chris Brown nudged him. Also, Louis Correa, number 58. Correa, that defensive end. Out of Honolulu and St. Louis. I say again, when Roethlisberger keeps the ball off that give of the counter, you're going to see somebody with a lot of running room. Second down, eight yards to go. Roethlisberger lobs it up the sideline for Kirkpatrick. He has it at the 30. That was perfect. Boy, he lobbed that one up the near sideline, and Kirkpatrick gathered it in, trying to cover on the play was Kelvin Milhouse. Pressure by the University of Hawaii, and Roethlisberger sees the pressure, unloads the fade perfectly, and Milhouse was helpless as the ball just went right over his head to Kirkpatrick. 23-yard gain. The ball inside the 30 now, just outside the 28-yard line. Miami moving it again. Roethlisberger continues to pass the ball well. Now he is audibleizing. Chased out of the pocket, throws again. That is tipped and not able to hold on. His branch that time, Milhouse able to get his fingers in there to interfere with the flight of the ball. 11.56 left to play in the third period. Just underway in the second half, and already Miami threatening. Kelvin Milhouse has grown a lot this season, Jim. He playing in the defensive backfield, and this against the teams that Hawaii plays against is very difficult, particularly for a freshman or sophomore, but right before our eyes, he's grown up as a player and will continue to get better. Second down and 10, double wide receiver to the left. Branch is set up to the right. Roethlisberger, pump fakes, and they finally get him. 
Finally on the blitz, Jacob Espial comes in. That will be his first sack of the season. That's the 34th time that Roethlisberger has been sacked this season. Roethlisberger with a pump and go, and the University of Hawaii has a lot of pressure, and Espial makes the play in the backfield. And here we go again on third down. Third down 15. From the 34, Roethlisberger rolls, sets up, looks, throws long. That's complete, but it's short of the first down. Michael Larkin, another leaping catch. Boy, he's done that all game long. Yes, he has, and this may be a, they may go for this, Jim. We'll see here because their field goal kicking has been very sporadic uh, so far this season. Uh, they're three for seven in field goals with a long of 34, and you're seeing, you're seeing Roethlisberger move to his left, have plenty of time, unload the ball to Larkin. Looks like they are going to attempt the field goal. Jared Parsegian comes in. This will be a 37-yarder, and they may have a delay of game. On fourth and a yard and a half to go for the first down. Fourth and a yard and a half, and they get a delay. Now they delay have to take it. On the offense, five yards penalty. The down is still four. And this will be their longest field goal of the year. Should they hit this, it'll be 42 yards. J.D. Vonderheide is the holder. Parsegians, his longest field goal is, is 34. This will, right. this will be substantially longer than that. This will be 42. Now, Terry Heppner told me, Jim, in the warm-up that he, he, he kicked the ball better here in the warm-up than he has all year. 28-21 the score. Miami trying to extend their lead to 10. Ball is placed. It's kicked. And it is good. 42 yard field goal by Carsegian. So Miami out to a 10 point lead. 31 21. Get more for your money at McDonald's of Hawaii. Presenting nine items at 99 cents every day. Choose from a sausage McMuffin with egg, blueberry McWaffle sticks, McChicken sandwich, double cheeseburger, Mac Jr., and more. Each just 99 cents. Available every day of the week. Smiling yet? McDonald's, a worldwide Olympic partner. Well, aloha means hello. And aloha means goodbye. Spread your wings and fly. With a little aloha. Aloha. A-L-O-H-A. -A. a little aloha in our day. Spread a little aloha around the world. Aloha Airlines. Daily to Oakland, Orange County, and Las Vegas. Warrior fans, join the UH men's basketball team as they start their season with the Nike Tip-Off Tournament on Friday, November 16th and Sunday, November 18th. Show your support on Friday night when the Warriors open their schedule with Norfolk State at 7.30, sponsored by Verizon Wireless. Then on Sunday night, join American Savings Bank to find out who will meet Hawaii at 7.30. Be one of the first 1,000 fans to the gate to receive a mini basketball. Call 526-4400 to reserve your tickets today. It's a great time to be a Warrior. This presentation of NCAA football is sponsored by Budweiser. With the crisp, clean, refreshing taste you'll find in no other beer. Andy Brumberg's will kick off for Miami. Chad Owens. He does that imitation of the charge of the light brigade every... Well, they need to think of something else to do besides kick it to Chad Owens. He's averaging 30 yards a return. Owen standing on the goal line. 31-21. Still much time to play. 10 minutes 
And 16 seconds left in the third period. They're going to kick it, I believe, down higher, try to get it higher. At the 10, here comes Owens. That mad dash up the middle. And it gets out over the 25 to about the 27 yard line. I'll tell you, if everybody in the country that returned kickoffs returned them with this, the, the verve of Chad Owens, there'd be a lot of long kickoff returns because he hits that sucker flying. It's fun to watch. Okay, we'll put it on the 26. First down for Hawaii, now down 10 in the game. Triple wide receiver to the right. And Fibro Mitchell starts in the backfield with Rolovich. Rolovich four-man pattern, waiting, throws. That's incomplete, intended for Colbert. A ball thrown low. Colbert tried to go down for it, could not come up with it. Ryan Sprague, number 22, on the coverage. He switched from wide receiver to defensive back last season, and he comes into this game with 35 tackles. He did not play much in the first half. So he's at the corner, number 22 for Miami, Ohio. Second down and 10. Ball just over the 26-yard line, same formation. Rolovich will run. 30 slides to the 31-yard line. That was going to be the counter play back to the to the wide receiver and the wide receiver uh, and and Nick Rolovich misfired. You'll see right here. Harris is supposed to come back and get the ball, but sometimes well-laid plans go astray and, and you end up better off. Missed time play. Yes. It's very confusing for the defense. Third and a long six. Hawaii four of seven and third down conversions in this game. Rolovich looking sideline, throwing sideline. Colbert has it for the first down. Colbert hit immediately by Spray. Spray gave him just enough cushion to get the yardage for the first down. That'll move the chains. And the line of scrimmage moves to the 37-yard line. And Hawaii keeps possession. Ball well delivered by Nick Rolovich. One thing we see with the University of Hawaii, Jim, is the University of Hawaii uh, does not substitute its receivers much at all. A lot of people substitute receivers in and out of the game a lot during the game. Hawaii does not. The guys play, they play, they play. And uh, I, I think that's a very unusual approach. Rolovich throws. That is complete to Harris. Harris trying to get his balance. Good move up the sideline. He didn't have much room at all. And he was on a railroad track over there for a while. And what I might say is the reason Hawaii does not substitute receivers is because they don't use them to bring in plays. A lot of people do, and that's why they're able to keep their best guys in the game. There you see Harris tiptoeing up the sideline, just out of bounds, and it's second down. So the fact that they don't bring in plays allows them to keep their best guys in the game uh, almost all the time. Second down, about two and a half. Hawaii trailing by 10, 31-21. 846 left the play in the third period if you just joined us. Rolovich looking over the middle, looking, looking, now throws to Harris and overthrows him and overthrows him by much. Pressure being uh, applied by Terrell Jones. And that'll bring up third down again for Hawaii. So Harris returns from downfield. Lali returns from that. They must run about 10 miles a game. Well, they're in great shape. Great shape. And they don't, they don't get tired they, they because they're in such great shape because they play all the time. Rolovich now 15 of 34 in passing, 223 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Third down for Hawaii. Quick pass. Stutzman had to reach behind him, but he's able to make the catch at the 46-yard line of Miami. That's a big pickup for the University of Hawaii. They were going to have to punt right there. Uh, Miami 
would have had the ball again with a 10 point lead but Hawaii keeps the ball moving a big pickup nice throw and catch by Rolovich and Stutzman. So the ball now at the 46 Stutzman able to gather it in an excellent play by Stutzman very quick developing play first and 10 for the Warriors. Rolovich looking long now throws Lali coming back for it. covered by Bowen man the man coverage that time for Miami of Ohio switching up between man and man man and man and zone. It looks like the University of Hawaii offensive front doing a better job so far this half. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of pressure. Nick Rolovich has had time to throw and I'm sure John Wofford and his his uh, the defensive coordinator of Miami is is concerned about how to get pressure. Second down and ten. Rolovich looking over the defense showing blitz they do blitz. Rolovich throws long over the middle for Stutzman and overthrows him. Hawaii had what they wanted right that time Jim you want to be able to go to the post against pressure and get somebody one on one against man coverage they had it he was against Bowen he was out he was out in back of him and the ball was slightly overthrown. That'll bring up another third down third and ten. Eight oh nine left to play in the third of quarter. Hawaii down thirty one to twenty one. Hawaii six for nine in third down convergence. They've made the last three in a row. So they come out with triple wide receiver to the right. Rolovich looking throws. That is complete to Colbert. Colbert stepping out of bounds in front of Ryan Spray. We'll see whether that's enough for the first down. It is. That's all the way to the 33 yard line. This is just pitch and catch with Nick Rolovich. Miami needs some pressure. It's just the roll out where Colbert goes down, gets the first down, turns to the outside, and the ball's there. Well timed throw and catch. Colbert, seven catches now, 84 yards. First and 10 from the 33 of Miami. Rolovich steps up with time, throws Colbert. Colbert has it inside the five yard line. Another, Colbert, another again. occasion right there where Nick Rolovich stuck the ball right into Colbert. As he ran his post route, Rolovich with good time. Colbert makes the great one handed catch. Terrific catch. That's the catch of the night. Right here, Rolovich looks front side, comes back to the back side. The ball's out in front, and that is a terrific catch. Boy, that was stellar. Away now, first and goal to go. And Colbert is now the quarterback again. He fumbles the ball. He fumbles the ball on the snap. When you fumble it down there, just cover it. Just get on it. Don't try to pick it up. Just retain possession of the football. All right, let me turn to you and ask this question because I know fans are going to answer it. You get down there. You get down to the third, uh, to the three yard line. It is first and goal to go. Are you getting too cute by running Colbert in a quarterback and doing those kind of things? Well, you know, I think that I think that certainly they've done that for a reason. They obviously have had success in practice and doing that. But I think when you get down there, when you get in those critical situations, you need to give yourself the best chance to succeed. Good point. And I think Colbert has had to demonstrate that he can do that, but obviously he didn't do it right there. Again, the throw. This one to Stutzman. Touchdown. Fourth touchdown pass by Rolovich. And Hawaii nuzzles up to Miami again. You just get the feeling here that the University of Hawaii at this point is just doing about what they want to do with the with Miami of Ohio in the secondary. It's getting late back in Oxford. It's going to be 2 a.m. in Oxford before we finish this game. Ayat comes in to try to tack on the point after. And that kick is good.
So Hawaii now trails by three, 31 to 28. Stutzman's third touchdown pass of the season. You buy this, you get this. You buy this, you get this. Real Rewards saves you three cents a gallon on every cash gasoline purchase. That's real value all the time. And it's real easy, too. Just use your Real Rewards card whenever you buy fuel at Tesoro and watch the Real Rewards add up to real savings on gasoline. Stop by any Tesoro, sign up, and get your Real Rewards card on the spot. Start saving today. Tesoro, real value, real easy. And now, Real Rewards, too. When it comes to ocean shipping, Young Brothers and Hawaiian Tug and Barge provide a vital lifeline to the Hawaiian Islands. Serving Hawaii's people and businesses for over 100 years, we are here for the long haul. Ready to serve! Young Brothers and Hawaiian Tug and Barge, serving our island home. Hi, Frank here, the used car guy at McKinnis and Kailua. We're really jammed with used cars. So now at the end of the month, we're throwing a huge used car block sale with a special bag to it. Buy any used car with just $85 down. Drive it away, no payments until no next year. Payments. Up to nothing till 2002. Look at these cars, they sell for up to $13,000. Your choice today, just $89.95 with a warranty and satisfaction guarantee. Risk-free, no payments till next year. They'll go fast. See us soon, McKinnis and Kailua. For every touchdown that Hawaii scores, Cairo Plan, Hawaii will donate $100 to the University of Hawaii Athletic Scholarship Fund. Cairo Plan, Hawaii supports education in Hawaii. Ayat kicks off, and this will go out of bounds again. That's the second time in this game that he's kicked it out of bounds, and that gives Miami, Ohio excellent field position again at the 35-yard line. University of Hawaii 71 yards in 12 plays three minutes and 10 seconds elapsed time touchdown pass his fourth of the game Rolovich to Stutzman Stutzman his third touchdown of the season he had his first against Montana and then against San Jose State and tonight against Miami of Ohio Justin Ayat as that's probably the thing he's had the most difficulty with this year Jim and, and of all the stuff all, all the chores that he that he does for the University of Hawaii, just kick it off and kick it off down the field without it going out of bounds. First down from the 35, and we have laundry all of a sudden descending. Illegal. Defense, 12 men on the field before the staff, five yard penalty. Down the field. Well, that's one way to gain the advantage. Use 12 men on defense. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha. You know, one thing about Hawaii head coach June Jones, uh, earlier in that drive, that last touchdown drive by Hawaii, Justin Colbert missed the slant post pattern, and Coach Jones was not happy. He was out on the screaming at him, but he left Colbert in the game, and uh, June Jones must know what he's doing because Colbert came up with that big catch to help set up that touchdown by Craig Stutzman. First and five from the 40. Roethlisberger throws. That is complete to Tillett. Tillett just coming across right at the first down marker. And that will be a first down for Miami. Hawaii has gotten close, but every time they have, Miami has been able to inch worm away. First down for Miami at their own 45. You see the Miami coaches there signaling in the formation, signaling in the play. Single setback is Steve Little. In motion is Stegman. Ball is given to Little, and he fights for yardage. Finally wrapped up by number 90. That's Wayne Hunter. Hunter went to high school about a quarter mile from where he's playing this game. Radford High School, just right up, right up the street. So did Ali. They must have a heck of a team. <laughs> Hunter then matriculated to the University of California, and then back because he wanted to play at home for the University of Hawaii. Hawaii doing a better job against the run so far this half, Jim. Second down, seven and a half. Double wide receiver to the right. Hawaii blitzing. Roethlisberger gets away, and he will run, and he has all kinds of meadow 
to just kind of loaf and have fun in. It was not a green shirt as they just blitzed and all of a sudden it was it was just a free run 28 yard jaunt what you have to do what Nate Jackson has to do here Jim is if you're blitzing off the corner like this you have to come to balance you have to gather yourself and come to balance if you see that quarterback with the ball and he's looking at you you have to gather and come to balance so you can make the play on something like that because if you're going full speed at Mach, Mach 5 or whatever it is, you, you have no ability to change direction. First down, they come out in a double tight end alignment. Miami does. Ball is given to Little, exploring, and then probing the secondary all the way to the 15-yard line. Finally, Patrick LeVar Harley, number 49, grabbed him. And that's very close to the first down. 100-yard night for Steve Little. 19 rushes and 105 yards. Came into this game with a 4.5 yard average. A little again. This time, Samu Seba hits him in the backfield. Wayne Hunter then closes him off. But very close to the first down. Samu Seba got off a block and pursued to the outside, made the tackle. Now we've got a third and short. I suspect that right here what they need to tell Roethlisberger is they're going to go two downs to get this first down to get this first down. Julian Goodman comes in. He's been used as a blocker. He sets up in the I formation at fullback number 32 little behind him. Third down about a yard. Little little wedging and they still keep jostling each other. Let's see where we mark it. A lot of bravado on both sides. Does that mean the guys like to play? There you go. They play with a lot of the Hawaiians say ha -a hill, which ha -a means hill. pride, which yes. means pride. Both teams do. Both teams do. Both teams are have very fine winning records. First and ten. The ball just outside the 13-yard line for Miami. Single setback is Little. Double wide receiver to the right. It is Little angling to the right side. And a short pickup from the 13 only to about the 12-yard line. Hawaii's defense, Houston Allah, number 93. Houston from Makaha went to Kamehameha. He was there to make the stop for Hawaii. In on the play of one second down. They can get a first down at the three yard line. This will be a little play action pass off that same zone play. Roethlisberger, there's the play action, the pass, and the tackle. That was a complete to the tight end, Robert Frazier. But then coming up was Nate Jackson. Jackson able to diagnose the play. The ball advanced to the nine yard line. That'll bring up another third down. And it will be third down and about six and a half. Miami continues to be in no huddle. Calling the plays off the sideline. Roethlisberger again audibleizing to the offensive line. On the wing is Little. And do we have an offside? If we do, that's the second offside penalty. And offside penalties for Hawaii have become very costly. Hawaii was in a blitz that time. Watson Ho'ohuli. And Ho'ohuli just jumped through the gap, anticipating the snap. Offsides. With contact on the defense at the distance of the goal, the down is still three. Actually, you know, grammatically, there's no such thing as offsides. It's offside. Thank just, you. It's like <laughs> RBIs. It's like RBI. Yeah, it's it's something it's like RBI. That. RBI. Third down and one because of the penalty. This is little. I don't know whether he got it. I don't think he did. 
Boy, Hawaii just threw up a green wall that time. They lined up quickly in an unbalanced line and gave it gave it to them in the unbalanced. Again, I think I think uh, I think we may see them go for this here because they really don't need a field goal. They need a touchdown. 31 to 28. Miami mulling things over on this very important play. It is still fourth down. It is fourth and one. You saw Nate Jackson make the play. I think this is a good decision if they go for it because if they don't make it, you leave Hawaii with the long field. If you do make it, you, you get your score. You don't need a field goal. Hawaii's moving the ball. We'll see. We'll see what they do. That last one by Little cost them a yard, so it actually is about four and almost two. Timeout has been called by Miami, Ohio. We shall return. Iolani School is dedicated to the premise that a child's future can be forever altered by the strength of a single idea. That's why Iolani cares so deeply about their teachers and staff and why they offer Hawaii Dental Service. They do it because HDS offers the largest selection of dentists and caring, quality service. Hawaii Dental Service. Hawaii's first dental plan is still Hawaii's best dental plan. Bob found the perfect teak chairs to match his table in the Honolulu Advertiser's local news. He found his best friend in the classifieds. His new pool man, Tim, in an ad in sports. And obedience training classes in today's paper. Start with the Honolulu Advertiser, Hawaii's best buy. It's called Toyota Hawaii's number one sale. Why the number one sale? Because Toyota is the number one selling make of car in Hawaii, and we want to stay number one. So we're selling Toyotas at the lowest prices of the year. So low, you don't have to negotiate. Choose from Corollas, Highlanders, Tacoma pickups, pretty much every Toyota. But you've got to go soon to get that special one. Toyota's on sale, the lowest prices of the year. No negotiating. The number one sale, happening now at your Toyota Hawaii dealers. Well, they had their discussions on the sideline. Miami has it fourth down. Fourth down and two. They have it just outside the five. They have to go just outside the three. I love the Aloha shirts on the on the staff of Miami, Ohio. What a tribute to the state of Hawaii that they thought enough to, to get some Aloha shirts. Larkin and Henry are flanked to the far side. Tillets slotted inside of them. Little is the lone setback fourth down big play Roethlisberger looking into the end zone throws that is touchdown caught by branch that's the second time that branch has been able to haul it in Roethlisberger move to the left sprint to the left pull up and branch has got all the space inside and just finds a place with that big body for Roethlisberger to let him have it up high. Touchdown. Well done. Fifth touchdown of the year for Branch in, in receptions. His second in this game. Just shows you how many players there are in Florida. A guy like Branch is probably not recruited by him. I mean, Miami, Florida State, Florida. Terrific uh, looking athlete. Ball is placed and the kick by Parsegian is good. So Miami of Ohio now leads 38 to 28. Let's watch Roethlisberger here come to his left, come to his left, look back, and let him have a good ball up high to the inside, and he just takes up space with that big body. Had a step on Milhouse. 204 left to play in the third period. As the score continues to mount here, 38 to 28. And here on, on fourth down, Roethlisberger really had the time to come back and then throw back over the middle after they overloaded the left side, and he looked left after he got the snap of the ball. Somebody may have been ejected from the game. Or at least we have a personal foul. And this will cause Miami to have to kick off from their uh, 
very deep in their territory, their 20, 20 yard line. We have a dead ball, personal foul on the kicking team with ejection on the play. The penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. So Harold, the offensive tackle on the right side, apparently ejected from the game because of the personal foul, and he is going to walk to the locker room. And that's their starting right tackle, and that's a, a substantial loss for, for Miami. Seven, 296-pounder from Middleton, Wisconsin. Try to look at the right side of your screen. Looking Number right 71. here. Circle here. Uh, just outside of the of the frame. Looks like a little jab. So somebody's going to have to Two play minutes. that hasn't played a, a lot, and uh, Jerry Hepner's just got to. Have confidence in the young man and, and put him in there, and, and I'm sure he'll do a credible job. This kickoff is very important for Miami because they they just uh, they want to try to keep the ball out of Chad Owens' hands, but Chad Owens has got great field position here. This is like a kickoff after a safety. Help support the Chevron State Football Championship game. Receive one dollar off tickets with any Chevron gasoline with Tecron or Pepsi product purchase. Here comes Chad Owens. Owens leaping to the 39 yard line. So Hawaii has very solid field position following a personal foul penalty in the ejection of Ben Harold. Roethlisberger, 28 for 36, 288 yards and two touchdowns. Relovich for Hawaii, 19 of 40, 279 yards, four touchdowns and one interception. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha while you watch this play. And Jim, we just saw Ben Harrell escorted off the field, ejected on that play. He was getting it big on the Hawaii crowd, but that paled in comparison to what he got from his coach, Terry Hepner, the head coach for Miami. All over his guard, his uh, offensive lineman. Pass to Lale. Touchdown. One play. 60 yards. Five touchdown passes in this game by Rolovich. Three of them to Lale. Pass was placed perfectly, and Lully knew what to do with it after he had gathered it in. Terrific, terrific job by the University of Hawaii's outstanding combination of Rolovich to Lali. Ayat drills it through. 38 35. Miami. This game just keeps. I mean, the score just keeps building and building. But Hawaii comes out one play, one play following the kickoff return. And you can see the time that Rolovich had. That was a job. He just laid the ball out there, and Lali went to get it. When you've got somebody that can run like Lali, just like that, you just lay it out there and let him run. 14 touchdown receptions now for Lali. Miami playing without a free safety. Lally four catches for 100 and 62 yards. And three touchdowns. The onus is on the Hawaii defense, Jim, to make a stop here because certainly the offense has answered the bell here, but the defense must make a stop. Boy, Nick Rolovich, five touchdowns. Ayad will kick off, try to keep the ball in play this time. 
kicks it off. This will be in play right down the middle on the hash mark. Bowen from the end zone. Bowen with running room gets to the outside. It's a foot race. Ayat trying to catch him. He won't. We have a penalty flag. Bowen will go all the way. 100 yards. The question is the penalty flag. Block in the back by Miami. That negates a 100 yard kickoff return. Boy, this game is turning just amazing. On the return, illegal push in the back. On the returning team. Half the distance, first down. Half the distance from uh, the point of the infraction. And they put the ball back on the 10 yard line. I don't know if who that who the was called on, but the way Milt Bowen came off the field, number 18, it looked like it might have been on him. And we may get a look at it. Miami's been penalized. We'll take a look on the right side of the yards screen. in this game. No, no Mel Bowen's the one with the football. First down from the 10. Roethlisberger throws. That's complete to Henry. Henry bumped out of bounds, chased down by Espial. And, and the numbers just keep adding up. It was hard to find the, the block in the back. Uh, it, ju it just very difficult. It just didn't seem like there was any foul, but maybe we didn't we didn't have it. So we're getting to one play territory. Hawaii would score on one play and then they kick off. But the penalty negated all that first down at the 22 yard line. Ball is given a little. He's into the secondary, out over the 30 yard line to the 32. Ridden down by LaVar Harley and Nate Jackson. Harley, number 49. He's a redshirt freshman from Kahului, went to Maui High School. 10 yard gain, 24 carries now for Henry, 117 yards. Rather for a little, I should say, 117 yards. Little came into this game averaging 46 yards a game. He's way over that now. First down at the 33. Take the play action to Little. Throw to Henry. 40, 45. Espial not getting up. Twelve yard game. Henry now five receptions for 59 yards. 50 5 0 seconds left in the third period. The way this game has evolved, Jim, the University of Hawaii defense has just played so much defense because Hawaii has been such a quick strike outfit on offense, and Miami has moved the ball consistently, and so plus plus the no huddle aspect of their offense. So here you're going to see Espial trying to make the tackle. His leg looks like it buckles under him. We don't know the extent of the injuries walking off with Eric Okasaki. Roethlisberger now 30 of 38 in passing 312 yards and two touchdowns. The white defense is going to have to dig deep here because they've just played a tremendous amount of plays and a tremendous amount of time for three quarters of football. So they're going to have to dig deep. Their conditioning base will really come and be very, very important as this game goes into the fourth quarter. Roethlis Burgers, best game of the year against Akron, as we mentioned, 399 yards. He has 312 yards in this game. We still have the fourth quarter to play. Rosenberger gives it to Little, and he gets nowhere. Hawaii comes in.
of Nui Correa getting up off the bottom. Also, Matt Wright, number 42. Samu Seva also had a hand in there. In on the play of about a yard, second down and nine. That could be the last play of the third quarter. Last seconds are ticking away. Five seconds left here in the. Terry Hefner's telling his quarterback to just let the quarter run out and let's play the fourth quarter. Three in the books. It has been a knockdown drag out affair and we still have a period to play. 38 35 Miami Ohio. With a great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down. Hey, I'll be right down. Oh, wait. Make it a Bud Light. Uh, excuse me, these cash register buttons you sold me are worn out. Stress fracture. What are you using them for? My chicken sandwich for 99 cents. Well, plus my entire 99 cent menu. You know, burgers and tacos and breakfast biscuits. And these are JR20s. They're not designed for a 99 cent menu with so many items. These are junk. You need the XL99, military grade titanium. Ooh. Well, aloha means hello, and aloha means goodbye. Spread your wings and fly. With a little aloha, aloha, A L O H A. A little aloha in our day. Spread a little aloha around the world. Aloha Airlines, daily to Oakland, Orange County, and Las Vegas. Crater 96 and News 8 are sending you to Las Vegas. The only way to win is watch News 8 weeknights at 10 for the Crater 96 Song of the Day. Then listen to Crater 96 the next day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. When you hear the song, be the ninth caller. Win a trip for two to Las Vegas from worry-free vacations and stay at Fitzgerald's Casino. Make it a November to remember. Watch, listen, and fly away with worry-free vacations, Fitzgerald's, non-stop travel, News 8, and Crater 96. Thank you. Thank you very much. This Bud Fact, cradle of coaches, coaches who have, uh, who have begun their careers at Miami. And when you look on the column to the right at the bottom, there's Dick Tomey. It was a great place to get started because all those guys were very, very approachable. They were all very helpful. And uh, I went there as a young graduate assistant, didn't know anything and came away not knowing a whole lot more but having a whole lot more contacts last but not least coach second down and nine as we begin the fourth for Miami on their own 46 Roethlisberger rolling setting up throwing that's complete to Larkin Larkin again with all the defenders around him another leaping catch he gets the first down at the 45 yard line of Hawaii the five touchdown passes in this game by Rolovich ties the University of Hawaii record Dan Robinson against Navy on November 20th 1999 Robinson had five touchdown passes and Rolo's got a quarter to go first down three point game Roethlisberger sets up sets up again being chased by Jackson. Jackson finally comes back to get him with help from Lamui Correa. Or uh, Chris Brown, I should say. Chris Brown. Roethlisberger just needed to realize right there that he was outside the pocket. He can, when he scrambles back this way and he doesn't have any place to go, he can throw this ball away. Nice job by Nate Jackson of continuing to pursue. Punish the quarterback. That's what the defense wants to do is punish the quarterback. You can see the number of plays taking toll on the Hawaii defense. 38-35, Miami, Ohio leading in this game. Second down and 18 on their own 47-yard line. Yeah. 
Timeout. Delay a game on the offense. Five yard penalty. The down is still two. That'll make it second down and 23. They have repeatedly been called uh, for delay of game. Well, they're just trying to do a lot of stuff, Jim, at the line of scrimmage. And and that's probably one of the one of the ills of that way of doing things, particularly with a freshman quarterback. Roethlisberger positioning his receivers. Roethlisberger gets it to Branch. He's hit immediately. Hiram Peters got him. And I believe a slight loss on the play. That'll bring up third down long yardage. That's the best job the University of Hawaii's done against a wide receiver screen. They've thrown more of those to Larkin. Uh, but that one went to Branch, and he just couldn't maneuver himself quickly enough to get free. Hawaii well, puts in a nickel package. Third down and 23. Miami has to go to the Hawaii 35 for the first down. The ball is on their own 42. Hawaii showing blitz, and we have movement. The Hawaii pressure is having the desired effect on the on the Miami of Ohio offense. Disconcerting signals on the defense. Five yard penalty. The down is still three. Boy, that's a rare call. Well, it's a rare call, but there's what they're saying here is the defense is trying to simulate the snap count using calls to simulate the snap count. And every defense in America does that. At one time or another. June Jones comes upwards in consternation. I think June's way ahead tonight on the kickoff return. Could be. They're down in 20. Here comes the blitz. Ruffenberger is hit. Ruffenberger is sacked. Nate Jackson from the edge. Nate Jackson is a real factor off the edge. And they close the gate on Roethlisberger. He couldn't get back to the outside. He had receiver, a receiver open down the field, but he couldn't get the ball to him. Nate squeezes it down tight. They could have called holding there on the right tackle. Third sack of the game for Hawaii. Owens is deep. Wasig will punt. Waiting for the snap. Short punt. Coming down, coming down. Bounces. Owens takes it out of the air. Goes down inside the 40 at the 37 yard line. 25 yard punt, four yard return. How far would you go to feel this relaxed, this welcome, this joyful, this pampered, this privileged? How about as far as our own neighbor islands? Experience vintage Hawaii and contemporary luxury at the new Outrigger Hotels and Resorts. For special Kama'aina rates, call any travel agent or 1-800-OUTRIGGER. Okay, Popoki, let's see what they've got. Mm, it's got to have more mileage, and it's got to be purple. Hmm, one owner would be nice. What can I afford? Bingo! Find right car right now in Hawaii's cars. Hawaii's biggest car line, only in the Honolulu Advertiser Classified. Neighbor Island Travel has never been so cheap or easy with Roberts Overnighters. Air, room, and car starting from just 
Call Roberts Overnighters at 523-9323 for our 9950 special. 9950 Air, Room, and Car? You heard right. Neighbor Island getaways including air, room, and car starting from just 9950. For the best rate in the state, call Roberts Overnighters at 523-9323. Hi, I'm Riley Wallace. You're watching K5, the home team. Scott Sagehorn, the long snapper injured on that last play. He's being helped out of either a knee or an ankle injury. 6'3", junior from Barrington, Illinois. There you see a number 53 to the left of your screen. And he will be injured on this play. Apparently just, well, there his ankle was this his looks ankle. looks like he rolled his ankle. Yeah. First down for Hawaii. They trail in this game 38 to 35. 1134 left the play. Rilovich, who has five touchdown passes in this game, three to Ashley Lally. Looking left, chased out of the pocket. Now throws, crossing pattern complete to Harris. Harris out to the 45. Harris dragged down from behind by Alfonso Hodge, number nine, the redshirt freshman from Cleveland. So Chapman Harris with another reception gain on the play of nine second and one. It's an excellent job by Rolovich right there of getting the ball off accurately taking the hit bounce back up jump on the huddle. Well he comes out in the spread offense four wide receivers. Ball is given to Thero Mitchell and Mitchell takes a hit. Harold Jones there hitting Thero Mitchell. Thero from Bethel, Washington. 58th carry of the year. He came into this game with 252 yards. His best game was uh, against Southern Methodist University, a career high 21 carries for 116 yards and two touchdowns. So Mitchell remains in the backfield. Mitchell getting the, the first down. First down and 10 from their own 48-yard line. Hawaii trailing by three. Relevich to Mitchell. Mitchell gets to midfield. Gain on the play of two. That'll make it second down and eight. Again, Terrell Jones from St. Louis, Missouri. And Bob Petrovic from South Euclid, Ohio. Second and eight. The Hawaii players all watch the Jumbotron after every play, see how they did. Ball right at midfield. Rolovich to throw. That's complete to Harris. Turns first down. At the 42-yard line, he turned on Matt Robillard. So Chanon Harris with another reception. Harris five receptions now 33 yards and one touchdown. Ball is at the 42 yard line. They will stretch the chains. Let's get on to Russ. Yeah the report on the long snapper injured on that uh, last uh, punt. Scott Sagehorn is a sprained left knee. He is out for the game. You hate to have that happen if you're, you're a coach to have your long snapper hurt because you fire up another long snapper, anything can happen. First and ten from the 42. Rolovich with time. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. That is caught. Great catch. Leaping catch by Stutzman on the 21-yard line. Maximum effort. Great job. Of giving up his body right here by Craig Stutzman and Rolovich threw him a ball that he could react to. The ball had enough air under it that he could get to it and stretch his body out. Terrific job. Stutzman now four catches, 51 yards, and a touchdown in this game. Ball is advanced to the 22 yard line of Miami. Hawaii trying to take the lead 
with a touchdown for the first time in the game. Rolovich looking, throws, touchdown! Harris! Six touchdown passes in this game for Rolovich. That is a record. This is a great throw by Nick Rolovich, giving him a ball he can catch. Outstanding catch by Shannon Harris. So you see the coach's reaction to it. Hayat tacks on the extra point. So for the first time in this game, and it has been a long knockdown, drag out affair. Hawaii leads 42 to 38. Hey, don't be alone. Sears Hawaii is a proud supporter of University of Hawaii Athletics. This is all about choice. On one hand, you've got the Suzuki Grand Vitara, the little SUV that can. 165 horsepower V6, real world solid, power everything and more, all at a great price. On the other hand, here's the Suzuki XL7, big brother Grand Vitara. Three rows of seats available, gobs of storage space, and a lot of standard features, also at a great price. The Grand Vitara or the XL7, it's your choice. They're both at your Suzuki Toyota dealers of Hawaii. Attention Santa's helpers, the holidays are here, so don't delay. Order your Christmas tree now from Cliff LeBoy. Call 625-2815 for more information. We guarantee the finest stock of fresh-cut noble and Douglas firs, flock trees, and wreaths. Now while supplies last, you can pick up your tree at either of two convenient locations on Oahu, 710 Ward Avenue, and the Waipahu Shopping Center. Enjoy the healthy beauty of a fresh-cut tree, and have a Merry Christmas from Cliff LeBoy. Look in Kakaako, in Kalihi, it's Easy Man from Easy Access Storage Systems. Call Easy Man for a great storage plan. 5920220. Low prices, free pickup, total security. Call Easy Man at 5920220. Big Island Candies in Hilo is the home of the famous chocolate dip shortbread cookie, as well as other delectable chocolates. Visit them online at BigIslandCandies.com or call 1-800-93-555-10. Nick Rolovich, six touchdown passes tonight. And that is a record. Squid kick picked up by Bowen. Look out, he's dangerous. Bowen with blockers. Bowen caught, punched forward a little bit by the, uh, the special teams, and he gets out to the 40-yard line. Let's get down to Russell Yamanoha. And it's the kind of coach that head coach uh, June Jones is. Everybody else on the Rainbow sideline, on the Warriors sideline, is congratulating Nick Rolovich after that uh, that record-breaking touchdown pass. June Jones comes over to him and says about the next drive. He's already thinking about the next time Hawaii gets the ball back. Already forgotten about that last touchdown. First down for Miami. Roethlisberger still dangerous, still potent. Ball at the 39. Roethlisberger in trouble. Roethlisberger dodges two. He'll run, dodges three. He's at the 40. Gets to the outside and finally is upended by Nate Jackson. Boy, you talk about bobbing and weaving and dodging. Roethlisberger has great quickness for a, a big youngster. Gets away it. from right. Gets away from Brown. Gets away from Samuseva. Finally, Nate Jackson cuts his legs out from under him. Get on that play of six, second down and four. Rolovich, by the way, 24 of 45 in passing, 398 yards. This eclipses 347 yards against Fresno State. So this is Rolo's best game as far as touchdown passes are concerned and as far as yardage is concerned. Second down and four. This game is far from over.
Cockrell. That's complete to Tillis. And Tillis gets the first down. Matt Wright chased him down. Clock ticks seven minutes and 46 seconds left. Hawaii leading 42 to 38. And some bravado going on in front of the Hawaii bench. Larkin. Larkin being chastised by his teammates. It's not a first down, Jim. It's third down. Let's see where they put it. Third. Boy, that's close. Third down, less than a yard. You're right, though. It's not a first down. They have the ball close to the 49 yard line. It is it is third down and just a few links of the chain. Officials trying to restore order on the far side using the coaches as a buffer between the sideline and the players. You get mixed up in players on the bench and not good things happen. Well you know you sometimes you get a a player that's not played any hadn't hit anybody all night take a poke at somebody out of bounds. I mean that can cost you a game. Everybody needs to stay disciplined. Third down and inches for Miami. For the first time in this game and they've led it from the outset from the first time for the first time in this game they are behind. 42 38. Patrick comes to the near side till it to the far side. Little has had just a great night single setback. Quarterback snake that should be that should be enough for the first down. He had two or three lunges at it. Roethlisberger did. That'll bring up first down in the clock at seven minutes and 18 seconds. And you see coach Hepner. This game has become frantic. Terry Hepner talked about his team's poise on the field before the game, something he's liked all year. Roethlisberger again rolling, setting up the throw. Does. That is almost intercepted by Elamimian. Elamimian took a chance, took a chance. Cut in front of Henry. Elamimian misses there. Henry scores. That ball was looked like it could have been tipped and Elamimian was all over it. That'll make it second down and 10 from midfield for Miami. It is it is a game of inches. The football game can go either way based on one play. Roethlisberger second and 10. Hawaii showing blitz. Here they come. Roethlisberger passes complete to Stegman. And Stegman is upended inside the 40. That's a 12-yard gain and enough for another first down for Miami. Roethlisberger doing a nice job here, Jim, of picking the, the slant, the inside slant off of blitz. Unloaded the ball very quickly. That is the 29th first down for Miami. You see the quick throw. And then SPL making the stop. First down from the Hawaii 43. Little. Little tries to muscle his way. Although I, I said the 43, it should be the 30, uh, 37 yard line, and he gets to the 34. Game of three. Yosua and Correa made the stop. Miami of Ohio's in four down territory here. A field goal does them no good. So it's all four downs from here on out for them. Yeah. 
Another penalty flag. We could have a false start. That's all associated with the Hawaii pressure. It just, it's more important. Right snap, false start. On the offense, five yards, previous spot, the down is filthy. For the, the offensive lineman to set quickly when there's a lot of pressure, when people are coming up the field, uh, they're in no huddle. And it just takes a lot of discipline to sit there and wait for the ball to be snapped. Second down and 12. Roethlisberger from the shotgun. Nate Jackson showing blitz off the edge. Here he comes. Roethlisberger sets up, throws long. He wants the touchdown. It is up for grabs, and it's incomplete. It was overthrown slightly. It was intended for Michael Larkin, and covering on the play was Hiram Peters. That was a pump and go, and Hiram Peters stayed home, did a nice job of making the play. Miami, who has just feasted on the Rainbow Warrior defense tonight with short crossing patterns, all of a sudden changes their mo their modus operandi, and they want to go deep. Third down and 12. Oh, Miami well, now six for 12 in third down conversion. Roethlisberger throws, batted away by Illuminium. Intended for Branch at the 21. That'll bring a fourth down. The thing that's made the biggest difference to me here, Jim, in the second half is Hawaii's pressure. When Kevin Lempa and Coach Jones made the decision at halftime to go to more pressure, that's really made a, a substantial difference in this ballgame. Because it's, it's caused some lack of discipline, it's caused some misplays, and certainly caused Roethlisberger to throw the ball quickly and more quickly and before he was ready several times. Fourth down and 12. Miami by the way two for two in fourth down conversions. Five minutes and 34 seconds left. And a timeout has been called. By Miami. Away battling back and finally assuming the lead. And now trying to protect it at 42 to 38. Then I had a taste. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Now I'm a believer. With grilled sourdough bread. Not a trace. A doubt in my mind. A quarter pound of flame broiled beef. I'm in love. Two slices of melted Swiss cheese. Four strips of bacon. I the new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Now for a limited time at Burger King. Shrek, the biggest movie of the year. Now available wherever videos are sold. My official title is Touchdown Boogie Coordinator. Now to me, it's not the end zone. It's the groove zone. Move those hips. Move it. I'm hard on my guys because it takes commitment. There you're getting it. There you're getting it. Scoring's just a way to get him into the end zone. Strike a pose, man. Then Good job. it's showtime. Bud Light celebrates those who like to celebrate. Winning isn't everything. Shaking a righteous booty, that is. Bob found the perfect teak chairs to match his table in the Honolulu Advertiser's local news. He found his best friend in the classifieds. His new pool man, Tim, in an ad in sports. And obedience training classes in today's paper. Start with the Honolulu Advertiser, Hawaii's best buy. Verizon Hawaii proudly continues its support of the UH General Scholarship Fund by honoring a player from each team in tonight's game. Verizon Hawaii bringing you super fast access to the internet. Fourth down and 12. Miami has been perfect in fourth down conversion. And the key is Ben Roethlisberger. Throws long. Henry. Touchdown. 39 yard touchdown play. So instead of going for the first down, they go for the touchdown and they find the going great. 
Chauncey Henry. That's his third touchdown catch of the season. Hawaii blitzing. Chauncey Henry man-to-man -man on SPL. Runs right by him. Perfect throw. Perfect throw. By Roethlisberger. So Roethlisberger, that's his third touchdown pass of the game. Under duress, he got hit as he threw, but gave him a perfect ball to run under. He's 35 for 46, 375 yards. Jared Parsegian in to try the point after. It's now 44-42, Miami. He can give Miami another three-point lead. Miami takes back the lead, and they lead it by three. The time is very important. Five minutes and 27 seconds. Here's the throw. There's the throw. The ball has some air under it. And Henry over the shoulder perfectly for the touchdown. Roethlisberger has played a magnificent game tonight for Miami, Ohio. You look at the effort that is expended on the field on the part of both teams of all the players. It's been a stupendous night. I mean, it's 45 to 42. They have been up and down this stadium from the opening kickoff. And they still have 527 left. And Jim, you know, the defenses have struggled on both sides tonight, but the defense for one team is going to win the game because they're going to make a stop. Somebody's going to make a stop sometime down the stretch here, either Hawaii's defense or Miami of Ohio's defense, and make the difference in the game. And what was amazing about that touchdown? It came on a fourth down conversion. Yes, play. and they've had several tonight. Now, this is a big play for Miami of Ohio because they, they don't want to give Chad Owens another run at him. Rumberg's kicking off. Owens plays it on the bounce at the five yard line. Owens to the 25. Owens gets out to about the 29 and Hawaii will put the ball in play there not call football club now let's see some extra pushing and shoving the game like this emotions are at, at a fever pitch well like you say Jim both these teams have great pride both teams have tremendous pride as evidenced by the way that they played the entire season. And you see Sean Butts piling in there. They could have called a couple things there. They could have called Sean Butts. They could have called one of the one of the Miami guys. Matt Pusateri pushing back. All kinds of things going on. First down for Hawaii. They have it at their own 28. They now trail by three. Nick Rolovich has thrown six touchdown passes in this game. Rolovich picks the play action and throws it. Throws it to Colbert. Wide open was Harris. Harris was running by himself. That happens. Rolovich threw it to the wrong receiver. And the poor football would like to send warm mahalo to the people who have supported the University of Hawaii Football Foundation. Their 2001 corporate sponsorships, including Canaan Construction. Guy Miyashiro and company. Second down and 10. Ball at the 28 yard line. Hawaii trailing by three. Rolovich throws. That's complete to Colbert. First down and more. Colbert makes the turn at midfield and he's caught from behind at the 45 yard line by Michael Adams. And Adams may have saved the touchdown. Colbert got help downfield from Ashley Lely on a block. See Nick Rolovich letting Colbert have a ball right in his hands. He can catch it on the run. Nice job by Miami Ohio rallying to keep him out of the end zone. Colbert nine catches 141 yards. That's his best game of the season. First down from the 35. Rolovich looking long, throws, that is caught by Lilly, another great catch over the shoulder. Lilly just continues to amaze. Take a, take a look at this one.
he just he gets back there he gets his body turned he's able to maneuver himself catch the ball over the top of the defense amazing took it away from milk took it away from milk Bowen who's a terrific defensive player in his own right five catches now for Lully 197 yards and three touchdowns first down from the 13 for Hawaii here comes the blitz by Miami that is complete to Harris and Harris is knocked down at the 11 Ryan Sprague making the stop Hawaii all of a sudden it's caught fire in its offense and it is Miami now confused and at times tentative in their defense. The time, you wonder, 4.05 and ticking. Miami has gotten virtually no pressure uh, for a long time and seems to seems to be having trouble hanging on to the Hawaii receivers at this point. Ball just outside the 10. Hawaii can get a first down at the three. 3.45 left the play. Rolovich again throws. Is that a touchdown? Is that a touchdown? Yes! Colbert! That's seven touchdown passes. Seven touchdown passes for Nick Rolovich. Anybody that thinks he can't play needs to think again. Holy cow, is this a great throw. It's thrown where only the receiver can catch it. Rolovich, 28 for 50, 470 yards and seven touchdowns. And for Colbert, 10 receptions, 151 yards and one touchdown. Ayat adds the extra point. It's now 49-45. Hawaii leading Miami of Ohio. We still have three minutes and 39 seconds left. Still have a lot of time, have some timeouts left. Anything can happen here. Let's take another look at this throw. Nick Rolovich gets his feet set. Cobra just goes down and gets this one. Again, thrown away from the defense exactly where he can go get it, thrown away from Michael Adams. Why are you leading 49 to 45? I mean, they've almost put up 100 points. This game is a defensive coordinator's <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> but Rolovich, I think, Rolovich is just having a wondrous night. Well, and coming in, we said Miami, Ohio is going to have to adjust to a style of offense they had not seen. And, and it's been difficult for them because Hawaii has so many athletes spread out all over the field, creating some difficult matchups. Let's see if Hawaii stays with the pressure now, Jim. I have a have an idea that they will. Kicking off is Ayat. Bounces to Bowen at the seven-yard line. Remember, he's dangerous. Bowen trying to find the seam. Bowen is finally corralled, and they wrestle him to the turf at the 26. So here comes Roethlisberger. I mean, it is just a, it has been an artillery duel here tonight. Roethlisberger, 35 for 46, 375 yards. He's thrown for three touchdowns. There have been 10 touchdown passes in this game. First down from the 28 for Miami. Roethlisberger looking, throws. That's tipped and almost picked off by Wright. Ball was tipped by Joe Correa. We have a penalty flow. The time, 323 left the play. Hawaii wins this. They'll have a winning season, seven wins. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense. Half the distance to the ball. Down will be two. Huge penalty. See Coach Hepner taking the news, and then he immediately goes to his quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, half the distance to the goal line. I'll tell you, Hawaii has really done a great job tonight of remaining disciplined in the penalty area. I think Hawaii's been penalized four times, possibly five, and Miami of Ohio's been penalized for over 100 yards. 
15 times for 116 yards. A huge discrepancy in yards penalized. Second down and 25 yards to go. The ball is on the 14, and this crowd will get into it. Throw complete. That's to Larkin dancing at the 30, and he is down at the 31. Oh, he's trying to rip the ball loose. 312 left. Picks up big yardage on that play. Miami has just one timeout. And so Miami must go for it on fourth down here if they don't make it because Hawaii has three timeouts. Larkin goes over 100 yards in receiving. Eight catches, 101 yards, 18 yard pickup on that last play. Third down and seven. Roethlisberger sets up, throws long, and throws way deep. Overthrew Branch. That ball just sailed on him. That's really the first time we have seen Roethlisberger throw an uncatchable ball. I mean, as soon as it left its hand, it never had a chance. I think they've got to go here, Jim, because they can't give the ball to Hawaii the way they've been playing defense and expect to get it back. It is fourth down. Remember, they are perfect on fourth down. Also remember this. The last time they went on fourth down, they scored a touchdown. Big play. This is a game right here if Hawaii can stop them. That's complete. That's the first down. Complete to Eddie Tillett. Tillett keeps the drive alive, advances the ball out to the 41 yard line. First down for Miami. The clock, 235. And the score, Hawaii up 49. 45. Tillett's now 10 catches, 93 yards. This game has been a statistician's nightmare. Roethlisberger rolling, setting up, pump faking, now throwing. That's complete to Branch. Branch dancing into Warrior territory. Gets to the 46 yard line. Trying to cover him with Robert Branch. Another first down. Well, Findlay, Ohio is going to be really proud of Ben Roethlisberger before he's finished at Miami, Ohio. He's he is going to be a terrific player already is. But just with normal growth as he matures, the sky's the limit for him. Best performance of the year for Roethlisberger, 415 yards. Roethlisberger again. Quick throw. That is complete to Tillett. Tillett's chase down by Mikey Osua. Away in a zone blitz that time. That advances the ball to the 35 yard line. And another first down. And here comes Miami. 12 yard game. 154 left. They are right on track and they are right on time to capture this game. It has been a battle. Hawaii may need to take a timeout on defense here just to compose themselves. Roethlisberger, three-man pattern, throws. That's complete to Tillets. He's at the 20. Tillets at the 15. Breaks the tackle. He may score. No, they get him at the 9. Oh, there were possibilities on that play. Iosua finally flying back from his position. Got him. Tillets is uh, 12 catches now for 129 yards and a 25-yard gain. And Miami, with 132 left, has the ball inside the 10. Miami with one timeout left. Hawaii with three. There you see Tillets. Kirkpatrick goes wide to the far side. Branch to the near side. Segment in the slot to the right. Roethlisberger. Touchdown. 108 left to play in the game. Miami teeter totters back into the lead. But Hawaii has a minute and eight seconds and three timeouts, Jim. They may have scored too fast. It's now 51 to 49, which means both of these teams combined have scored 100 points. 
I'll tell you for Terry Hepner, they if he'd have, if he'd have fallen short at like the one foot line would have been a little better. He could have run some more time off the clock because Hawaii still has a great opportunity to come back and tie or win this game. Jared Partsijan into try to give Miami another three point lead. Kick is blocked. Kick is picked up. Illuminium. Hawaii can win with a field goal. Huge. Huge block. Huge block by Elamimian. Elamimian. Is this Butts again? Elamimian picked it up. It's, no. We think it's Butts that blocked the kick. It is. It is. That's Sean Butts again. What a special teams player he is. Elamimian picks it up. Great job by Sean Butts. Watch him elevate right here. Gets his right hand on the ball. Tremendous play. Sean Butts had two blocks, a PAT and a field goal last week against Boise State. And now a PAT that could figure into the final score of this game. 108 left. Miami of Ohio must get a good kickoff here because Hawaii needs to get the ball to the 30 yard line or so to have a shot at a field goal. This crowd will take time to leave the stadium tonight because they will be emotionally drained. The crowd will not be the only ones that are emotionally drained. I've got some some folks back here my wife Nancy my daughter Angie they've been watching this thing. Here comes Chad Owens from the eight. Owens trying to turn the corner. 40. 42 yard line. What a guy. What a guy. 35 yard return. One minute exactly left the play in the game. Chad Owens sets the kickoff return. He starts it right up the middle, bounces outside to the left, and then just outruns people. Kirk Patrick finally got him. Hawaii let's, with excellent field position. Let's see if the, the Miami defense has the legs to play against Hawaii's offense right here. And we remind you again, a field goal can win this game. Relovich needs to go to work, has time. Now throws over the middle, low. Throws it low for Stutzman. Stutzman was double covered. Matt Robillard covering on the play. Second down and 10. The clock, 55 seconds left. Miami went to a three deep defense, rush three, more prevent type coverage right there, just to kind of set a bunch of defensive backs right down where they think field goal range is and say, nothing's going to get inside this. So the University of Hawaii is going to have to be patient with some underneath stuff, possibly. This should be susceptible to wide receiver screen. Second down and 10 from the 42. Thero Mitchell, 45. Midfield, 45. 42 yard line of Miami. First down. 17 yard run. 49 seconds. And they'll start the clock as they move the chains. Ball is on the 42 yard line of the Red Hawks. Now they substitute back in their four man defensive line. Three wide receivers to the right. Rolovich looking right. Throws. That's complete to Stutzman with running room. Stutzman at the 30. Stutzman out of bounds at the 28 yard line. First down. 13 yard game. 36 seconds on the clock. High drama. High stakes. There you see. Stutzman gather it in and then step out of bounds at the 28 yard line that stops the clock. Colbert Stutzman Harris to the left. Lali to the right. Lali looks one on one here. Here comes the blitz. Relovich throws over the middle. Lali at the 15. He's down at the 12. Ali is one on one to the post. 16 yard game.
Lully, six catches now, 210 yards and three touchdowns. Timeout has been called. We shall return. We found the perfect house. And then came the part I was kind of dreading. Getting the loan. But American Savings Bank actually made it easy. American Savings put together this loan package for us that really fit our needs. And talk about convenience. We can meet after work. They turn things around so fast. I'll bring the papers over on Sunday. We close sooner than we expected. I like their local servicing. It means you're right here if we have any questions. They made it happen. Everything's got to uh, work like, um, it's like, uh, it's a symphony, right? Mm -hmm. So the piston goes down, then it's going to come back up. That's the job of the piston. You got your valves, you're like little doors, you know? Sometimes you get these, you get deposits on your valves. It's, it's not the valve's fault. It's the gas you're buying. If you used Chevron with Tecron, we wouldn't be having this discussion. No gasoline cleans better than Chevron with Tecron. No monkeying around now. For sure, some days are better than others. But no matter what ails you, Long's is right there. We not only have helpful, knowledgeable pharmacists, Long's offers a 24-hour automated prescription refill service, mail order, and free home and workplace delivery. Plus, three all-night pharmacies for your emergency needs. Holly, Pearl City, and Moeliele. So you know the old saying, make Long's a part of your day. Now you can make Long's a part of your night, too. 30 seconds left, high drama, high stakes at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. 51-49, Miami leads, Hawaii has the ball first down and 10 just inside the 12-yard line. Hawaii can win it with a field goal. Rolovich has thrown for 500 yards, 507 touchdowns. Record-breaking performance, this is Bass. Bass stumbles. Bass had a chance coming around the end. The, the um, Warriors took Manley Kanoa and pulled him, uh, trying, to, trying to spring Bass around the end. But Bass really has had trouble in keeping his feet on many plays this season, and it came up to bite him again. Well, they just need to get the ball on whichever hash, wherever uh, Justin Ayat wants the ball right here because they, they, uh, they have second down, they have some plays left, but getting the ball to the middle of the field, I would think would be a priority here because where it is, that's a tough angle for a right-footed kicker. 22 seconds left to play. Ball is on that right hash mark, but what a performance by these two quarterbacks. Roethlisberger, 40 of 53 in passing, 452 yards, three touchdowns. That's his best performance of the season. And Nick Rolovich, Nick Rolovich with astronomical numbers. 30 of 53 in passing, 500 yards, seven touchdowns, and one interception. A record-breaking night. It is not over. 22 seconds left. And the ball now on, or just inside the 13-yard line. And there you see Justin Ayat. He may be the final. Well, they may take a shot. You never know what uh, Coach Jones is going to do. They may one take one shot at Lali, just throw it so nobody else can get it but him. Get it to the middle of field. If that doesn't work, and kick it. Lali with three touchdowns in this game. Three of the seven. Colbert flanked to the far side. To the near side is Harris and Stutzman. They got Lali at tight end. And. A T formation. Ball is given to Bass. Bass gets to the middle of the field. Advances the ball to about the 11 yard line. 12 seconds left. 11, 10. They'll wait until four seconds and then they'll call the timeout. It's four seconds, it's five seconds, and they call the timeout now. So it is up to Justin Ayat. Ayat in field goals. 16 of 25, his longest 55 yards. That was at Tulsa. He had two 47 yarders last week in a losing effort against Boise State. So it will all come down to his foot. 
And let's not forget Jim the role the special teams played if this is a victory with the special teams right here with a block with Sean Butts down here that enabled Hawaii to win with the field goal and then a great return by Chad Owens uh, that made a difference in field position uh, on the uh, on the first down play after after their touchdown. 51 to 49 100 points have been scored on the part of both teams in this in this game. It almost seems it has lasted long enough to be more than a game to undergo a different kind of definition. But it will come down to these final frantic moments. Five seconds left. And then a snap hold kick, Jim. The, the snapper's got to snap a perfect ball. The holder's got to hold a perfect ball. There's a lot of moving parts to this whole thing. Flint has got to do a great job of getting this ball down. Smith has got to snap the ball. And Miami's going to come with everybody. And they're also going to call a timeout. Now I've seen teams that that uh, you know that we played against over the years a game winning field goal that don't bring everybody that brings six guys that brings seven guys that don't really that are trying as much as they can to block the doggone thing and Miami of Ohio needs to bring every man woman and child here. Justin and, uh, Justin I by the way a, a, a true freshman out of um, Kamehameha he resides in his family resides in Waipahu. So Ayat had a hyperextended right knee going into last week's game. But that's of little consequence here. The rest of the players don't know what to do with a kicker in a situation like this. They don't want to talk to him. They don't want to ignore him. They don't know whether to pat him on the butt. Uh, whatever. But Justin looks like he's pretty well composed. He's got a shot at it right down the middle. And here comes everybody but the kitchen sink for Miami. Here, right. it, here it is. Brian Smith to Flint. Is that offside? Here's the kick. It is up. It looks good. It's not good. It is not good. And is, we have a penalty flag. It is not Was good, Miami but they, offside? But they jumped offside. And that's the penalty of the night that Miami. Miami's been penalized 16 times for 121 yards. And yes, they were offside. Yeah. Jumping offside was Michael I Adams. Penalty, the down is still three. There's one second left. I wonder if they should have taken time off there. Off the clock. It's one second left. Oh well. No, it should not have. Just so. Let's see if this one's good. It's up. It is good. Hawaii wins. 53. 52. It is the seventh victory of the season. Hawaii will have a winning season for 2001. Just trying to come in between both teams after the game is over. 53 52, emotions are going to run high. A lot of but this, but, but this is dumb. Well, the coaches will get them off the field. It's too bad because both teams played so hard and there was so much good football. Players of the game, sponsored by Verizon Hawaii, by the way, 
for Miami, Ohio. It's Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger, 40 of 53 in passes, 452 yards, his best performance of the year, and three touchdowns, and a record-breaking night for Nick Rolovich. He was 30 of 53. He threw for 500 yards. He threw seven touchdowns, and he had one interception. Well, Jim, that's the kind of ball game that for the University of Hawaii is a great win because I felt like Miami of Ohio was a team that that uh, could come in here and, and do the kind of thing that they did in terms of the fact that they're a better team than I think maybe Hawaii was expecting after a tough whack campaign. And I think the University of Hawaii may have been a little surprised early at, at Miami's capability, but they certainly hung in there, did what they had to do to win, and, and just made play after play after play on offense. Uh, the special teams, the defense made some plays that helped, but a whale of a football game, and certainly none of the fans got cheated here tonight in terms of uh, entertainment. They're going to have to put new bulbs in the scoreboard tonight. I mean, they were flashing all kinds of numbers. Finally, it settles down to the final score. Hawaii 52, Miami 51. For my broadcast partner, Dick Tomey and Russell Yamanoha, along with the entire Aloha Stadium crew, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, Malama Pono. Services have been provided by KAE Ice House in exchange for promotional consideration.